Hello, hello there. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. Uh, I wasn't originally planning to play this game today, but uh, one of the people in the other game session uh, was not available due to power outage. So uh, yeah, we're playing some Oxenfree 2 today. Um, where am I at? There I am. <laughs> Uh, I'll actually go to the screen first. So, um, I played Oxen Free, the first game, uh, three and a half years ago. The last day that I played it was on December 5th of 2018, and I absolutely adored that game. I think around that time, they also announced the, uh, that Oxen Free 2 was going to come out. So, uh, wait, did I do the math wrong? 20, oh, fuck. It's not three and a half years. Oh, fuck. It's five and a half years. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Uh, five and a half years. Okay. Uh, I played it 2018. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> yeah, so... Anyways, let, let's hop in. Um, I've, I've been looking forward to this game for a while. I didn't open up the game prior to stream just because sometimes games open up with like a little cutscene thing. And so I, I didn't know. I, I'm launching it now. <coughs> Excuse me. Very loud. A Netflix game studio. Really? Interesting. Press enter. Um, okay. No opening. I could have changed the controls. Um, maybe I'll be using a controller for this game. Uh, controls, talk, yeah, okay, let's go, let's get into this. Ooh, content warning, this is good. Uh, player choice is a central feature of Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals. The game contains playable scenarios that may cause mental and emotional discomfort. Play with care and visit Night School Studio slash content warning for a list of potentially sensitive game content. Um, so yeah, uh, those, uh, that content warnings on that site for anybody who might be sensitive to that. I, I'm, I'm really glad that they have that there, honestly. New game. The volume's really loud. Let me adjust the volume a little bit. Uh, audio. Something like that. Applying it. Where are you? 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 Where are you?
You're hard I, to hear. I, I can barely hear you. You're going in and out. They're not who you think they are. Who's who are you? Who is dangerous? They're not who you think they are. They're dangerous. Ooh. That's scary. Or mysterious, at least. Um, can I not read the placard? Apparently not. Okay. Got a radio on. Think this thing's operational. Hmm. I like the 2.5D style. Oh, interactive letter. Okay. Uh, is anyone up there? Well, something's up there. Please. There we go. What is this thing? The lighthouse is on all of them. Enter? Oh! Interesting. 1952. Uh, um, I think... Do we know each other? Bury me. What? Bury me? Where you can't see one. Riley, if you're there, okay. pick up, please. Riley? Uh, sorry, I dozed yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm here. I think I dozed off for a second. Hey, I like hi. That's okay. Uh, I'm just glad you picked up and that the walkie's working. I'm Evelyn, an environmental researcher with the lab. Uh, welcome to your first day on the job. Eight, I'm sure eight. Leslie went over this stuff with you already during training and orientation, so forgive me if I repeat a few things. You're just going to be planting transmitters along the coast to help us study anomalous frequencies. First of all, can you hear me okay? Over. Uh, yeah, I can, yeah, hear. I can hear you all right. Um, over. Awesome. Leslie probably told you, we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Electrogravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Now uh, let me see if there's subtitles. Sorry for not checking this earlier. Um, game subtitles, yes. Um, I'm fine with the normal font, and I don't need large text. Yeah. Would... No, it's probably fine. Okay. Um, I like subtitles for being able to process the audio a bit easier, and also just to make the game more accessible. Uh, uh apply next. There we go. Eruptions in the electromagnetic spectrum. These frequencies act like radio waves, but as far as we know, aren't. And they're messing with the town's comm equipment, TV stations, even air traffic signals. The transmitters you'll place will relay any signals back to us so we can study them. Got it? Over. Um, got it. Okay. All right, that uh, makes sense, I think. I think I remember doing something like this in a high school science class. Yeah, it's a little weird, right? Hopefully this sort of thing is interesting to you. It is. Your transmitters and climbing gear for the rocky terrain are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. Should general be right store. in the center of the harbor. Go get them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. You'll yeah. be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Sounds good. Uh, do you need me to go over the basics of how to use it? Um, I think 
need a refresher. I, I could actually use a refresher if you don't mind. Not a problem, not a problem. So go ahead and look at your walkie. There are a lot of channels, as you can see. I'll always be on channel seven. So seven. if you ever want to chat, just click over to that and say hi. But uh, let's let's hop over to channel five so you can see it working. Hey, Evelyn, I'm here. You there? Perfect. I'm your night watch, so I'll be on all night unless I'm using the bathroom or taking a bug outside or something. <laughs> taking a all bug right, outside. Let's, let's switch back to seven so we're not crowding anyone else who could be using this channel. See you on seven. Okay. Hey, Evelyn, I'm back on seven. Over. Great. Hey, hi. So, uh, everything about the walkie talkie makes sense? Uh, yep. Makes total sense. You're a good teacher. Uh, over. Oh, thanks. I try to be. Over and out. Let's see. A ticket booth. Nina Coast. Tickets for the ferry to Edwards Island. Children under seven must be accompanied by an adult. I wonder how many lonely eight-year-olds want to spend <laughs> their weekends touring bird colonies. True. Although maybe, you know, somebody who's just bird fanatic, you know? This looks like the same ship that, like, we came in on in the first game, right? For anybody who does know that game. Just looks very familiar to me. Mm, bus stop. Last stop to Washington, they said. An hour from any town, they said. Ugh, I just cannot believe I forgot my headphones. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Okay, Eva's got worms. That's a little bit cursed, but okay. <laughs> um, you know, every ice box in the U.S. looks like this one. Like you go, you go to like any, um, uh, what's it called? You go to like any gas station, and if they have an ice box outside, it, it looks just like this. Like there's no difference. Uh, ooh, that's nice. Copper Creek, uh, Creek, Copper Creek Trail in Uptown Harbor. Um, uh, oh, right. Hold on. Uh, where? Uh, can't talk, apparently. Maybe I gotta go up these steps? Ah, the general store. That's what she said. I have a horrible memory. I forgot that it said general store already. Huh, doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. Hmm. What is this? A flyer? Learn about our free soul body health class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to the stars. Blood, moon, tide. Huh. Blood, moon, tide. Interesting. Close. Back Wednesday. Back Wednesday. Are you kidding? There's no one here, Evelyn. Hey, Evelyn. Is there, like, another general store nearby? Because there's nobody here, so... <laughs> I don't know what to do. Over? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. He must have closed early. This isn't a deal breaker, though. Just head up the hill on your way to Camber Cape. Your partner, Jacob Summers, is having some car trouble, that? but he's got a transmitter you both can use for tonight. Over. Um, what about the climbing gear? Uh, okay, but what about the climbing gear? Don't I, uh, don't we need that? Well, if Jacob gets his truck fixed, that'll help mitigate the need. But regardless, we'll have you do a simple one tonight. It doesn't require climbing. Cool. Tomorrow you can start on the bad boys. The bad boys. Sorry, Riley. Uh, one sec. That can't be right. Uh. I was Hey, uh, Evelyn, is everything all right? Sorry, Riley, I gotta go, but, uh, real quick, you have your map with you, right? Do I? Pull it out for a second. Uh, this part. So, as you can see, there's a lot of land to cover, and a lot of it is inaccessible unless you have climbing gear. All those rocks and cliffs Different and crap from the first are too game. dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. 
Take the road and you'll get there pretty quick. Okay. Ooh, okay. So the notepad is probably going to help me remember what uh, I'm trying to do, I think. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Also, by the way, your map has a lot of useful information. Don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost or forget what you're doing. Cool. Okay, I'll call you later when you're with Jacob. Thanks, Riley. Over and out. Over and out. Yeah. Uh, just a second. Let me... Need to reply to something. I'll let the sound play. Go to the left. Let, let's just mm, let's just head towards that for now. I'm sure there will be more exploration stuff later, but for right now, it's um more direct because it's like tutorial time right now. Some of these postings are pretty old. God, twenty bucks an hour for a babysitter. If good. she doesn't fly through the chimney with a school of singing penguins, that's a total ripoff. Excellent. Mary Poppins. Ooh. I like that the camera shifts, right? There better be some sort of like big thing here. Like I, I in the view like it's a nice view, but also I have high hopes for this game based upon uh how the first game was. I think we're going this way. Yeah. Uh, parking lot. Yes. I didn't realize that this was a Netflix studio thing. <laughs> Maybe it was purchased later? A lot of trash. Higher up. Ooh, okay. It highlights the area that you're in. That's actually really nice. In the first game, it just put your head, like, where you were at. It didn't show what the area encompassed. So that that's actually a nice quality of life change. Oh, I remember this spot. Bunnies Family Market. There's a pair of shoes over that lamp post. Okay. Is this a cairn? I think that's how you say it, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Up we go, up the road. Highway. Yep, just walk along the highway. the right size no hi i'm riley 
You're Jacob, right? I think we're doing a job together. Oh, hey. So. Uh, hi, how's it going? I'm I'm Jacob, yeah. Evelyn let me know you were on the way. Uh, cool. You, you, you kind of caught me in the middle of... <laughs> Something. I can't get my truck to start. I went nowhere to you. Yeah, this uh, was um, going to be our ride around town for the job, but she might be on her last legs. Oh, there. God, don't be embarrassed. It's not your fault, right? Or I mean, maybe it is. You know it takes gasoline and a little <laughs> hole over there, right? Oh, that's what that meter with all the slashes means. Seriously, I love I the humor. no idea. Can we can we try something real quick? The key's sure. in the ignition. Could you just start up the engine real quick? Sure. I'm trying to see if it's the uh, starter or the battery. Um, sure. What the hell? Oh, thanks. It's just, I don't know what the issue is. Ignition. Oh. Crap. Oh, okay. Tur turn it off. Back. Well. That's a lot of black smoke. Thanks. I won't even try to explain what happened. That's bad, right? Even pretend. Oh, that's <laughs> bad, right? That's not what we want. Not what? We want. No. That's not what we want. I think we can call time of death on this one. Riley and Jacob, did you guys meet up yet? Oh, this is Evelyn. Over. Oh, I think that's our uh, boss is doing a check-in. Yeah. Want to answer that? Hey, Evelyn. Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. Jake's He's great. Regularly, but we were lucky to get his help with this. Your truck ready? No. You guys good to go? Uh. Jacob. Um, give us a second here, Evelyn. Eh, may maybe more than a second, to be honest. My truck's misbehaving. I think the engine's fried. Is our first transmitter point far? Over. Uh, kinda. It's Amber Cave. Cave. We want to try and get as much over-air traffic as we can. I see now why you asked if I had an all-terrain vehicle. Yeah, it's a lot easier with a ride, but Is it far? I know folks that do the hike for their morning warm-up. We're going to Camber Cave? That's... It's not far. It's a hike. Yeah. You two are going to be planting transmitters all around Kamina. All Jacob, around. Jacob, you have transmitters, right? Uh, just one. Hey, Riley, I'm strapped for space, so uh, could you grab the transmitter? Sure. It's right the there on the blanket. Well, I do have the backpack. I promise I won't think of you as our pack mule. Then why even say that? <laughs> why even say? Hmm. Huh. Nice. Collapses very conveniently. One tonight and a few more tomorrow when the general store opens. Okay. Da 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 da. <laughs> okay, guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? Um. Before I finally get some dinner? I don't think I have any questions. Yeah, no. I don't. All right, guys. Good luck. Let's go. Let me know if you run into any trouble or have any future questions. I'll be on most questions. of the nights. Thanks, Evelyn. Talk to you later. Yep. Uh, over okay. And out. Over and out. Oh, uh, Riley, real quick before we go, you see that radio on my truck? Sure. Uh, can you grab it? Uh. Sorry, but I, I kind of got my pockets full. You want to bring a radio? Are you, you planning on listening to music along the way? Or? Uh, no. Uh, there's lots of kind of cool stuff we there can do. There is. With. There is lots of cool stuff. Thanks. Hey, try it out. This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. Tune it to 93.7. 93.7, the cheap seats. This is David Rattler. The cheap seat. seat. seats. Still all tied up. I used to watch crayfish games with my older brother like 20 years I ago. I need to turn up that volume a bit. But uh, thanks. It, it sounds great. Okay. So I just... Tweaking the audio settings so everything sounds good. Uh, I think voice, um, music volume is good. Voiceover volume I'm gonna bring up a bit. Hi, Riley here. Over. Okay, by foot, Camber Cape is up this way. Up this? Doesn't take too long. Okay. So, uh, Evelyn, she's she's a little funny, right? She ran yeah, into like the job a week ago, and she's 
definitely a character. Ah, eh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up around them. But that particular breed of small town, something... I'm a little nostalgic for it. <laughs> yeah. N not that it's a bad thing. Yeah. Oh, you're looking at the uh, missing kid poster. I didn't know what type. But yeah. That's one of the older ones. Still up from the 80s. Hmm. Uh, the hopelessness of it really sticks to your ribs. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's always so sad. I can't help but imagine, like, when I see posters like that, what the child's experience was. Being taken, how confused and scared they were. Yeah. Yeah. I try not to think about it. Hey, uh, this is a really stupid time to bring this up, but, but when I heard your name, Riley, I... Well... Do, do you remember junior year? Mrs. Alsmore's English hmm. class and uh, PE fifth period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend, uh, uh, Patty. <laughs> Peanut butter Patty. Peanut butter Patty. We ran in different circles, but I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew each other. That's all. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. G good to see you. Uh, yeah, you too. So, uh, hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Uh, first day on the job topics. Conversation will continue. That's good. I didn't know if it would continue. That that wasn't something in the previous game. They I'm had what to you make call an independent contractor. You know, light fixtures, building a deck. But I signed up for this partly because of how weird everything's been. It, it's it's why I brought the radio, actually. Evelyn won't get into it, but you can tune into super strange stuff if you mm -hmm. know how to find it. Mm -hmm. Um. What super strange stuff? Super strange stuff? I, like, more than just foreign stations bouncing off a satellite somewhere? Uh, yeah. Way more. It used to happen just on Edwards Island. It was a sort of inexplicable audiovisual phenomenon. Using any old radio, you could tune into physical objects. Huh. I'm curious if we'll get readings from the island. Okay, but remind me, what's so special about Edwards Island? Isn't it like a tourist trap? Oh, yeah, it was. Hmm. Still is, kind of. But That's where the original really game mostly out was. there anymore. The, the hours are really limited. But uh, it was Fort Milner for decades, an old World War era bunker and military base. There's a lot of stories. But, anyways. The effects, though, that radio effect has kind of bled from the island to around here now. But I, hmm. I'm sorry. I'm just into this stuff. Super it's bled out. Interesting. But I've been talking my head off ever since we met. Got it. Okay. What's, uh, what brought you back? Back? Um. Is, is it temporary uh, or just got homesick? Um, my dad isn't doing too great. I thought I should, um, just move back, you know, L at least for a while. Be home to be close to him. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That, that's, um, that, that's, that's too bad. I, I didn't mean to bring up bad news. No, but it's that's fine. really nice of you to come back. I mean, for him. I'm sure he appreciates it. Uh, yeah, family's a uh, I hope a he thorny bush. It. I certainly hope he appreciates it. <laughs> He's uh, not much for showing gratitude. Our relationship's been fraught, let's say. But I don't know. It, a lot's happened in my life recently that I just want to make amends before it gets too late. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that, that makes sense. Wapiti Trail, day hiking and biking only, sunrise to sunset. Wapiti means deer. Um, just oh. in case you didn't know. Oh, uh, interesting. I won't correct him on that here. <clears throat> it is interesting that means elk instead. Um, I should check. Uh, place for his transmitter up there. Okay. Uh, 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 slow up. Be careful around those logs. Sometimes it rains and stays slick overnight. You ever slip? You seem okay. <laughs> you ever slip? Sounds like there's a, an anecdote there. <laughs> no. Well, I... Once. once. Twice, but ne never seriously hurt. Well, w once <laughs> seriously hurt. <laughs> once seriously. I'm fine. Yeah. Hello there! Welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy your time here. What's this? Oh, that? It looks like a park we bench. We have some off-color people living this far out from proper civilization. There's a group in town that performs uh, 
nature rituals. Interesting. You'll see evidence of it dotted around. So probably this area this up here them. as well. A man Wibbler. Hey. Well, welcome from Wibbler. Whew. Uh, this part's always a little tricky. Very interesting uh. path to have people be walking. Yeah, I I went and calculated out how long it had been since the first game, and I thought it was three and a half. Oh, wait, wait up a minute. There's a bench over here. Let me finish that thought. Um, I thought it was three and a half years. Because I read 2018, and I was like, oh, that's only three and a half years. No, no, no. no that, that's five and a half years. <laughs> Whoops. Can we just take a quick second? Sure. I need a second. Let's. I just need to rest my feet. I can use sound like maybe, but. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can take a minute. <laughs> I could use the break too. Oh, thanks. Just till my toes stop throbbing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I did a lot of hiking and backpacking. Um. Uh, it turned out to be a really nice night as a kid. So yeah, I feel that. It is a really nice night. My dad and I used to hike this. My uh, dad and I walked these woods before. I was five or six, and we were coming up to the entrance to the uh, the park, and I saw something off in the woods, something that I just remember it made me slip and fall a little. And my dad, he, he pulled me back so I wouldn't go off the ledge. He hurt my shoulder, and I had to go to the hospital. Rip. I've actually, <laughs> I've actually always hated these woods. Oof. I didn't even remember that I hated them until now. Woods will kill you if you let them. Da, da, da. <laughs> These woods will kill you? What does that mean? Oh, yeah. You know, we have a pretty big black bear population, so you know, that and other stuff. Interesting. All right. Thanks for the stop. Let me catch my breath. Okay. Up the steps we go. The 2.5D setup uh, is really good for, like, helping you not, not get lost, but also, like, having a... I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I, I, I like the, the setup for the 2.5D-ness of it. All right, we're getting close. Just over the crest, there should be a clear enough spot for the transmitter. Hours, sunrise to sunset. Huh. Used to be open to, like, 10, but someone spotted a bobcat a couple years back. Limited the hours. Closed. Locked. Doesn't look it. And locked. Oh, Damn never it. mind. What the hell do I do? Huh. I don't know another way around. Maybe we should call Evelyn. Tell her we're at a bit of an impasse. Yeah. Sorry, this turned into a bit of a headache. It's okay. I it's not totally forgot that they locked parts of the park up after hours. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, gate is locked. Hey, uh, Evelyn, this thing is closed, or locked, the way to the summit. Closes at sunset. Okay, uh, that's not ideal. See if you can, um, uh, I don't know, stupid small town crap. How about <laughs> the bars close at like 2.30 in the afternoon? We gotta get that <laughs> thing placed up top, so, uh, yeah. get creative. Over and out. Okay. Um, we could close. Climb. What do you think, Jacob? Looks like the lock's on the other side. Hmm. Huh. I'd say let me boost you over, but that barbed wire says otherwise. I'd rather avoid tetanus, so no climbing this one. Fair. Don't forget about Mercer. Haven't used YouTube streaming much. Uh, love the reaction. Yeah, it's it's very good. It's very good. Um. Uh, what the hell is MRSA? MRSA? Oh, it's just just another death infection, another kind of infection. Gotcha. Didn't know what MRSA was. Um. And it's only showing it in like fourteen forty p. Interesting. I'm. Let's see what. I'm streaming with ten k bit rate. And. 
there is up to the like the 1080p setting here let me let me open up the stream as well just just to take a quick look no it's good it's good uh mute tab play and set it to 1080p Mm-hmm. On my end, it's looking pretty clear. Um, like, of course, not as good as, like, a recorded video, but, like, not 1440p territory. So, uh, unfortunately, I think it's just on your end. Sorry about that. Uh, I need to click back into the game. Let's climb this. This or nothing. Oh, well, that works too. Hand tracking, yes. A, uh, <laughs> a proper climb, though. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, it's not as hard as it looks. Just find your foot before you grip. Mountaineering isn't exactly on my CV, <laughs> so uh, knock yourself off there, champ. Sounds good. Uh, f figuratively. Oh, come on. It's fun. Good challenge, you know? I'll happily take your word for it. <laughs> Go Happily. open up the gate after your top side? I guess I could. Okay. This is kind of scary. Just gonna jump? Yep. It's just gonna jump over there. Cool. She's very athletic. Very, very athletic. What if I just leave? No, <laughs> that would be mean. Pretty. Forgot how pretty it can be up here. Fun, have some uh, Riley, are you at the summit? Over. Hey, I'm uh, here. Evelyn. Yeah, I'm at the summit. Over. Oh, perfect. So, when you plant the transmitter, you'll need to adjust it manually a little. Just fiddle with the dish so it aligns with the signal. You'll know when it happens. Okay. Sounds good. Over. Uh, yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Got it. Great. Call me back if you get confused or anything. Over and out. There's a little opening there. I want to talk about it when I'm with Jacob, though. Yeah, I uh, I really like the hand tracking. There's, like, some minor okay. issues with it, but, yeah. Good job. You had you doubted it, me. Not for a moment. Awesome, thanks. Up we go. Up we go. There's some minor well, issues. You grew up here, yeah. right? There's so much, like... It's definitely an interactive movie for this, so yeah. Um, I like the hand tracking a lot. Uh, I wish the range of motion was better because, like, I move my hand out to, like, here and it stops tracking, or it stops tracking well anyways. Uh, and I'm a very, like, expressive, gesturing person, so, uh, it, yeah. <laughs> I wish it was a bit better at hand tracking. You ever buy that story about Edwards Island? About the, the submarine that went down near Fort Milner? The USS Canaloa? Yes, I'd definitely buy it. It was a, uh, you know, a uh, casualty of war, right? The right. USS Canaloa was the only American submarine downed in enemy combat in American waters. It happened right off the coast of Edwards Island. 1943, during World War II. Interesting. But, uh, you know, some people don't fully buy it. Uh, don't buy what? What do you mean? They think it's a lie? Well, some people say it was friendly fire. That we accidentally bombed our own sub. Yeah. Um. Why do people think uh, that? Why would anyone think that? Oh, I don't know. Little discrepancies, little things. Conspiracy details theories. Details of the story not hitting exactly right. But also, stories aren't Sometimes perfect all the time. Aren't what they even seem. when it's real. Yeah. Oh, hey, little animal burrow. That's cute, I guess. Yeah, I'd steer clear. Skunks are, you know, a thing. They're a thing. But, uh, any interest in the other other story about yeah. the submarine other 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 there's another story on top of us bombing our own soldiers do you believe in ghosts oh that one yes sure some people maybe yes and sure some people yes. standing right next to you think the crew members of the uss canaloa got lost on the way to the light let's say sure um 
I'm thoroughly creeped out now. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I don't mean to give you huge bumps. I'm just trying to give you the back alley tour. <laughs> It, it, it makes sense if the radio wave strangeness is coming from there, right? Yeah, I mean, it would. Edwards Island is a weird place. You go there, and it's like your feet never it, really it's, touch it's the ground. It's almost like that's how it actually Double is in the original with game. at least semi-questionable tale of maritime disaster, and you have yourself the recipe for a proper ghost story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't know. I can Look, I it. can believe it. I've seen crap that's hard to explain, impossible to explain even. So, hey, you tell me a downed submarine crew haunts the coast of Kamina, I won't argue. True. Kind, but let's be realistic. But hey, ghosts, no ghosts, war time. So he proposes the idea, hey, there's these ghosts, I think, from uh, the, the, the crashed submarine. And then I affirm him and say, yeah, I also believe that, or I, I believe you on that. And then he's like, no, 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 Let, let's be real. Like, my dude, I'm working with you here. I, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Why, why, why are you suddenly going back on me? What's happening here? An accident or a heroic defeat. At least we can both agree that it gets too friggin' cold out here. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, I can barely feel my feet. Oh, agreed. I'm freezing. Structure. It's a little weather worn, but this is nice. They used to have one of those coin operated binocular <laughs> things up here. But someone kept sticking gum on uh, the owls. Really lost its luster. That's unfortunate. Oh, there's a path over here. Okay. I didn't know where we were going. Oh, whoa. See that? Over Edwards Island. Yeah. This oh, storm cool. cloud looks nuts. Uh, we don't usually get skies like this. Looks from Yeah. Pretty. That doesn't look great. Kind of foreboding, right? Yeah, maybe. We might want to do this quick. Sure. Please transmit. Okay, so, the transmitter needs to be adjusted manually. Just move the, the thingy until the what's, what's it connects it? to a source frequency. Uh, clearly, yeah, they're next. really nailing the jargon. Hey, thanks. That's uh, three years of online adult education courses talking. I think you just have to point it so it catches the signal. I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. Just uh, give it a sec here. There we go. Very vibrating in the controller. Yeah, it's working great. I uh, think. Think. Um. Should we call yeah. Evelyn. So should we call Evelyn? Maybe check with her if it's working. Oh uh, yeah, good, good idea. We did hey, it. Hey, uh, Evelyn, we did it. We planted the transmitter. Looks good on our end. Over. Hey, Riley. Yeah, the readings just coming in now. There they are. There they are. The signal's clear. You guys did a great job. Nice. We did it. Oh, uh, hold up. One it second. It's like green to red. Jeez. Oh. Uh, okay. Um. Wait, what is that? Do you see that over Edwards Island? It connected. Hey, Riley, do you know? Is this? Is this right? Riley, what's going on? The readings are a little weird over All here. All uh, Riley, is this normal? Something. Riley, turn off the transmitter. It, what? Just turn what's it off. What's she saying? I, I tried to turn it off. Oh. Is that touching it? Is it lightning? What? Uh, what am I? Wait, what am I doing here? Is there someone here? Who, Who is she? She did something. She, whatever she did, fried our antenna. Mom, come uh, on. You tell me all the time. Don't let the concerns of others concern you, right? What? Wait, where are we? What? What? Come in. 
Riley? Uh, we already did this. Hey, wait, e Evelyn? We didn't we already do this? Sorry, can you hear me? The distortion might be futzing with this. So we're in a I'm loop just glad the walk now. is still kind of in range. I'm Evelyn, a new researcher with the lab like you. This is the start of my fourth week, actually. I'm by Oval Beach. It's about 20 miles out, but I can hear you okay, surprisingly. Can you hear me? Over. Uh, I think something's um, wrong. Evelyn, I, I think something's wrong. D didn't this already all happen? Didn't what already happen? Did he, uh, did Leslie give you the instructions? Time went back. I think time went backwards, or, or we, or, or just I went backwards in time, or... Backwards in time? Huh? This is your first day with us, right? Evelyn, just, it's just that everything is yeah, wrong. Everything's or, wrong. Or, I don't know. Like, I don't know maybe how to, I, else okay, to explain Riley, it. Uh, let's, let's get through the instructions here, and maybe we can circle back. You're going to be uh, placing transmitters? That's uh, that's the, the job. In your backpack, you'll find most of your equipment. Should mm -hmm. be four transmitters and a test radio. Wait. I now, have equipment on me this time? I confess that I completely messed up, and I totally forgot to pack your climbing gear. I'm choosing to blame the unforeseen hangover. The general store's closed, Evelyn. I get there too late. It's closed? Oh, shoot. Well, can you still head over and knock on the door? It would help me out a ton Wait. if they can just let you grab the equipment real quick. The top... That sounds good? The, the top edge of the screen has, like, a distortion effect going, like a, a, a VCR tape that, um, like, the it's slightly out of phase, um... I forget the technical terminology for it, but like the 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 top edge is like shifting a bit leftwards. Uh, yeah. Talk to you soon. Over and out. Okay. Wait, I couldn't talk about I could talk about the crab shack then, but I can't now. Why can't I talk about the crab shack? I want to talk about the crab shack, please. Ugh. Now, oh, there's a bit of distortion at the bottom as well. I jumped forward. Ah, uh, damn it. Hey, wait, before. kid. You, you didn't I see you before? Away. Keep away from all of this. For your own good. This isn't for you. Just, who are you? What are you doing? Just leave it alone. Don't, don't listen to them. Don't do anything. Stay back. Wait. Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Hmm. Riley, answer. Uh, there was Evelyn, key. there was there was some kid breaking into the general store. Sorry, can you hear me? The distortion might be futzing with this. I'm just glad the walkie's still kind of in range. I just wanted to tell you that. Lupin. Actually, man, have you ever gotten deja vu? Yeah. I think we're, I think we might be stuck in a, a loop or something. We're definitely in a loop. We've done this before. I... Riley? Ugh, are you still there? You're getting battered. Riley? Evelyn? Can you, can you, you can't hear me or? Come out. Come out. But our oh. antenna, it, it broke. They planted the beacon thing and it ruined everything. Got overworked. I'll have to, to repair it. Re rebuild it or yeah. somehow or well. Ruined. Ruined. Oh. Her again. She keeps trying to. Oh, it's looping back because I'm interfering or something. I should go directly to. Again? Did I just? Uh, okay. Again, it is. If I head up here again, is it gonna loop me back, or uh, maybe I have to go directly to Jacob? It's on fire. wasn't here before. This definitely wasn't here before, right? Right. Okay. Uh. Okay. Sure. 
whatever that is. And it's gone. You, you, you have no comment on the fact that it disappeared. Did I do, did I do something wrong? I mean, uh, okay, clearly I did something wrong, but what? Okay. I think we go towards Jacob. Okay, never mind. Great. Just great. So we have to go towards the burning building and then past it, I guess? Oh, another one of these. Sure. you around? Oh. I guess not. Maybe he's back at his truck. I gotta find him. Definitely. This is going to be okay. The forest is the town of trees where they live quite at ease with their neighbors at their side just as we in cities wide. She quoting? I don't know... Anything interesting on this here? No. Okay. Away we go. Wish I had gotten that dialogue piece before. A little bit unfortunate that I didn't. To the parking lot. Parking lot. We've already gotten into like some medium heavy topics, like just the fact that her dad is sick and um, she came back home to help out. I feel like the Cairns had some significance in the first game. I forget what exactly. Something super weird happened in the sky over Edwards Island. <coughs> Excuse me. Better find Jacob. My cough is a little bit drier than normal today. I don't know what that's about. Like, cough, yes, that, that's persistent part of me. But, like, the fact that it's dry, ugh, just sucks. You know? Okay. 10 p.m. Okay, so time's advancing, but looping back. Jacob, are you in there? Answer, please. Ah, ah Christ! Hey, Jesus! Good Lord, that... I'm sorry, you scared me. Phew. Gotta give my heart a second. Uh... Didn't you hear me? God, I've been calling out for five minutes. Uh, uh, sorry? No, I, 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 I didn't. Oh my god. R Riley, this is... I don't know what happened. Do you know what happened? We I, I back. was... We were planning the transmitter. Some lights came out of it. There was a... Triangle in the sky. <sighs> there was a, a giant triangle in the sky above Edwards, right? Did that... Yeah, that... That, that happened. That... Oh man. Are you okay? You seem alive. Which I think is I'm okay. maybe more than I can say for myself right now. I think I'm okay. Yeah. Ah! Hey, guys, are you there? Oh, it's it's Evelyn. Um, Jesus. Maybe? maybe she has, like, any idea of what the hell is going on? 
Yeah, here's uh, here's hoping. Hey, Evelyn, we're we're here. Did did you see or do you know anything about what happened out here? A bolt of lightning or something came out of the transmitter and it it it, it kind of knocked us out for a bit, but we somehow made it back to my truck. Yeah. Don't, we don't know what happened. D do you over? Oh jeez, guys, I don't. I honestly don't think it was lightning. Nah, it I wasn't. I don't advise over there, but the readings on our end are completely flipping out. You need to go back to Camber Cape and see what the transmitter is doing right now. Uh, oh, really? Well, if, if if you could see what's going on, it seems risky. <sighs> okay, Evelyn. Uh, this is Riley. What do you need us to do? You need to go back to the transmitter and tell me what it's Wait. doing. While we still have time. Time to do what? In time for us to figure out what's going on. The numbers it gets are any worse. I hate to ask you to do this, but it's very important you go back there and check it out. Over. Uh, this you you don't really know what you're asking us to do here. Don't worry, Evelyn. We're up for it. We're here, aren't we? Great. Yeah, but we need assurances. Time and a half. And medical. <laughs> damn skin melts off. I am sure we can cover expenses, Jacob. Just Jacob. time it and get back to that transmitter. Thank you both so, so much. Really, uh, let me know when you get there. Over and out. Yeah. But here, the walkie I had near the transmitter died, so I assume yours did too. Interesting. Oh, another one? <laughs> this should work. What channel will he be on? Man. I have to say, Jacob, I don't have a good feeling about this. Look, I, I know this really sucks, what we're about to do, but I don't know what's going on. But but it seems extremely bad, is all I can yeah. muster right now. that's fair. And we're the only ones out here that knows anything about it. So, I feel like sometimes people are put in positions where they can most matter and this yeah. feels like it matters right man jacob i i really love to believe that well yeah you should if only for the next hour or so it helps trust me just the next hour uh, only, it's only going to be an hour it's all, only only going to be an hour nothing else is going to happen nothing that's going to make it like more complicated or more difficult like it, j just one hour you know Wait, wait, Riley, listen. There? That's... That transmitter knocked everything out of whack. The reverberation destroyed our antenna. We... We need to repair it. We... I almost had it. They were talking, but we were talking... Ugh. Charlie, come in. Violet, where Let's are listen. you? Let's just listen in for a second. Guys, I... I think I'm lost. I'm at somewhere by the cliffs? I think she's by the cave system. Hmm. What happened? Where did everybody go? Charlie, where are you? Over. I'm. I think I'm by the ranger station. Pointillia. They're all That's over. That's not far from here. I can get another receiver to fix the antenna. Hurry. And Violet, stay put. Charlie and I will get you later, okay? Hearth and Cinder. Catch squirrels if you can. Over and out. That doesn't sound good. Yeah. They sound young. Let's get oh. to the transmitter. What the hell is going on? Let's just focus on the stuff we can control, like. Getting any data we can from the transmitter. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's do it. I, I agree, definitely focusing on what we can, because, like, right now, everything else is, like, sort of beyond our control. Like, maybe we could get over to those other places. Um, <laughs> I like that the uh, triangle's on the map there now. Uh, but it didn't note where the kids were, which is interesting. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna stop on the way up this time. I mean, we could, but I don't think we will be. We got a lot of walk-in to do tonight, though. He's sprinting to catch up. He's like, please. <laughs> You need to sit? No? Okay. I 
I gave him a moment to tell me. Just the ambiance in this game. Okay. Um, something I mentioned in Breath of the Wild is I wish that that game had more ambiance to it. So more general music, you know? Whereas, um, and what I was referring to there is what this game has. Like, it's not constant, like, super high music or whatever. Like, there's just a little bit of a melodic thing happening, you know? Like, and of course, it's not playing let's, when let's I come in. Let's just hurry up and see what the transmitter's doing. Ooh, it's open still. Something like this, you know? It's not a lot of music, just... A little something. Come on. Uh, right behind yep, you. Right behind you. Let's go. And maybe I should have said, "Don't wait for me." But also, it's probably good to stick together. Will the transmitter even be there? Is what I wonder right now. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Okay, this, uh, this looks very volatile. It's affecting something over Edwards Island. You see that? What mm. the hell is that? That giant thing in the sky. That's a huge light show. It looks like, looks like a giant hole in the sky. How yeah. is that possible? Is the transmitter really affecting it? It's beaming some kind of energy to it, but... Riley, this is gonna sound... I, I, I don't know, but this is all... I've heard about this. Someone told Resets. me this was possible years ago she no one really believed her but she knew even 30 40 years ago she knew jacob do you know something that i don't Interesting. or wait riley do you do you hear that there's uh hear what you don't hear that it sounds like it, it sounds, it sounds like, like kids <laughs> uh -oh. Uh, Jacob? Hmm. Okay. You could sometimes tune into radio stations in the first game, so I was just seeing if there was something here for that. Jacob. Jacob? Jacob, can you can you hear me? It sounds like a radio. It sounds does that sound like a, a radio? What is going on? Okay, yeah, there's definitely something I can tune into here. Closing. You gotta go home. Hey, anyone where, know her? Where? Where? Anyone where friends am I? with this woman? Anyone? Uh, do I have to call? No. How did I get? How did I get here? Very drunk. This, how'd you get here? How are you getting home? That's the. That's what we're. Hey, wait, buddy. You were talking to her earlier. 
Gives me chills. Jacob, wake up. We got wasted last night. <laughs> Jacob. Man, I am happy you're alive. I was kind of touch and go I, there are, for a are minute. We in th this is Garland? God, this is crazy. The time glitches, the jumping around yeah Riley I think <coughs> you might know what's going on please tell but first let's get the hell out of here sure 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 I don't huh, looks like a climbing anchor well I won't be able to use this unless I get some rope somewhere can I note about it though I assume that I wrote a note about it or I hope that I wrote a note about it. That's that's what I'm gonna hope at this point. Evelyn, you there? Over. Oh, we walked all the way back. Oh, I don't think we can get through. Nah. Look, I, I I think I know what might be going on, but it's going to take some explaining. My cottage I'm is ears. just up the way here. I might have something that could help. It's not very far. Uh. You live in a in a cabin? Like a log cabin? Well, I say cottage. But yeah, it's, it's, it's been in my family for a while. We were one of the few allowed to build on the land. It's technically part of the park. Anyways, mm -hmm. I took this job because I've been into this stuff ever since I was young. And I'm not just randomly into radio technology. I mean, I know, I know what transmitters are for a reason. When I was a kid, there was this older lady who lived in town. Well, she lived on Edwards Island, really, but she got her groceries and stuff in town. She studied this stuff. Weird frequencies, signals. She had lots of theories no one believed. Or what? Is it like a time loop thing where... I forget the character's name from the first game, but, like, did she loop and she's researching to try and connect back in or something like that? I would believe. When we were kids, we were kind of friends, and I, I have a lot of her journals still. I know she wrote about something like this. I, I think it can help. I know who it can. Are, uh, who was what she? did she do? What was she? She worked at Fort Milner on Edwards Island when the base was still operational. Hmm. But I can get into it if you want, after we find out if her work will even help us. And then uh, I, I can give you the footnotes, you know? Sure. It's not far. Let's go. Mm -hmm. The cabin's just up uh, this way. Not that it's gonna wow your socks off or anything, but I like to explain to people that I inherited it. Yeah, just, just so you don't think. Well, it's not like this is my beach house or anything. My, my parents had me and my brother old and both died in our 20s. That sucks. Oh, that, I'm sorry, that, uh, that sucks. Yeah, it would've been nice for them to have met each other a little younger, but uh, I, I guess I'm just happy they met at all. The cabin Fair. and the money left me and my parents' will means that I have to work, but it's not like a huge deal, basically. I, uh, <laughs> I used to we were in this this building. be a boring person. I'm sorry, I'm going to draw a lot of parallels to the first game, and I know it was several years ago that I played through the game, like back on Twitch, and I that was before I was doing recordings of the stuff, so... Uh, but this cabin... I remember that there was a lot that happened here in the first game. Or I'm pretty sure this is the same cabin. I'm compelled to remind you that this place was an inheritance. I'm not a secret billionaire. Just look at my shoes. Uh, this is a castle. Uh, are you a duke of something or something? Th this is a castle. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real palatial. Warm in the summer, cold in the winter. It creaks, it leaks, and termites can't get enough of it. Nice. Don't judge a book by its cover. Works both ways. Trust me. All the stuff that we need is inside. So just take a minute. I know exactly where it is. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Do we need to review doors again? <laughs> no, I... The door is locked, which it should be. The keys, however, are not where they should be. They're... Oh, I can picture it. They're in the kitchen drawer. Right. I was moving things around this morning. And I forgot to put them back in my pants. It happens, oh, honestly. God. Hey, it happens. I watched a video on how to pick locks. <laughs> I think I remember the host's hair color. Yeah, I'll tool around with it for a bit. And if push comes, I'll just unscrew the damn thing. Fair. Okay. Uh, what does... Go to Jacob's house to regroup. Jacob locked himself out. Need a way in. Your Long shot, but you got your garage door opener on you? Believe it or not, not a usual pocket suspect. Sorry. Did that Valid, yeah. No. Okay. Doesn't look like he cleans the gutters much. Eh, maybe he plans to. Oh, okay. Leave doggy door. Maybe? What? No. Uh, garage door. Almost got Almost it. there. <laughs> Rats. Okay. Room? Damn it. Rip. Okay. Let's go with the button then. Swell. Okay. I'll just mention that's there. Maybe he has longer arms? I like that it's not side door, but more of top door. You need to get up there. Hmm. Oh, the ladder. I grab the ladder and go to that open window. Also, I like that nobody else who came to this house noticed the uh, ladder and open window. This should reach the window. <sighs> Jacob just just doesn't hear the fact that I'm like carrying this ladder around like most ladders have like a clanging sound also don't ever actually use a ladder that's like this without a second person holding onto the ladder it is a nope. huge like safety thing like e even even with a ladder that like is double set up like this where it like it it, it crosses you should still probably have somebody hold on to it to make sure, but like for these, there's like no stability for them. Like it, y yeah, you're leaning up against a building, but it could slip out really easy. You need somebody to hold on to it to make sure that um, it doesn't go somewhere. But my character is gonna climb up because it's a video game, and uh, this isn't actually an issue in the game. Really? Encyclopedia Brown, a biography of Guglielmo Marconi. I don't know who that is. And an eighth grade science textbook. Jacob, you are a man of interesting <laughs> tastes. Oh. Looks nice. Not bad for an amateur. Oh, his brother. Didn't think they'd be twins. Get the phone? Hello? Better three hours too soon than a minute too late. The waiting be hell, I am to wait. Better three hours too soon than a minute too late. Uh, okay, so. weird. Three hours too soon than a minute too late. Gotta love oh, pizza. God, I could go for a pizza right now. Nope, uh... Hey, you there? Come let me in. 
Hi. Thanks. Yeah, how'd you get in? Uh. You left your upstairs window open. <laughs> I used your ladder. I left that open again. Unfortunate. Oh, I'm gonna find a barn owl in there chewing on my pillow one of these days. About that. Uh, the journal should be just over here. I know there was one where she talked about gates. Windows to perpendicular spaces. I know it's in here. Is that a weird phone call? Hey, hang on. You got a really weird phone call a minute ago. If it was a prank, I definitely didn't get the joke. Oh, really? Uh, what'd they say? Or was it just like a recording or something? You want a boat, just send us $5,000. Kind of it was kind of creepy, to be honest. It's hard to even say why. Huh. Well, it's probably a wrong number. That was really important. Oh, wait. Just Hang the fact on. that it's like, oh yeah, I don't oh, really, this like, is it. it was repeated. One of the journals that belonged to Maggie Adler. She was stationed at Fort Milner, right here on the coast, when the submarine crashed. She said it was a mistake. The, the, the whole thing had an experimental engine or something. And that when it blew up, something happened to the reactor. Hmm. It split the crewmen from our reality, forced them in between time, in between dimensional planes. They were gone, but not really. Is uh, that why this is happening? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Maggie did all these experiments and, and, and research in the last half of her life. She discovered radio waves can reach through planes of existence. It can, it can affect the past and, and the future. Interesting. But, you know, without hard proof, without the knowledge of the inciting incident, no one really except me believed her. That's unfortunate. I mean, not that I, you know, blame them. I mean, it, it all just sounded insane. Okay, so let's say everything you're telling me is uh, true. I didn't want to phrase it like How that. How does this help us solve this? Just, look, this one, she told me about ghosts, about people she cared about, a woman named Anna that died to one of those things. She called them mm. gates. And I think that big triangle thing in the sky is one of them. Gosh. I could barely understand what she was talking about. I was just a kid, you know? So what are they? Or it? What is it? I still have no idea what it is. It's, I, I think it's a hole between what Maggie called comprehensive states of matter. Everyone it's else would probably call them timelines or, or maybe dimensions or something. Miss Adler said she spoke through a, a portal or a gateway or whatever to a Sergeant Griffin years after he died. He hmm. was on the USS Canaloa, stuck in time. These were my versions of, you know, of campfire stories, I guess. So, those scary translucent things that yeah. I don't want to call them this, but I will. Ghosts. The ghosts, those things are them? The crew of the Canaloa? Oh, I don't know. I mean, may maybe they're completely different interdimensional beings. How would I know? But uh, just wait, there's True. more. True, yeah, how would you know? What we need is this guy. This guy. Uh, yeah, here it is. She what? writes, huh. Huh. What'd Jacob, come on, what'd she say? Oh, oh yeah, sorry, she's, uh, she, she says That's that rude. harmonizing electromagnetic waves emitted towards a gate could successfully diffuse its source signal. See? See? So that's this. This is what I thought when the transmitter went crazy. Th that first one was diffusing the signal and starting to cancel out the, the gate. So transmitters yeah. can diffuse the source signal. We can use them to stop it based on yeah. what Maggie thinks, at least. So we use the transmitters then, right? Enough of them should knock out its power. Yeah. I think. I mean, we saw what the one did, which is True. definitely what we want to do. We saw what the one did. You know, Maggie says she wrote here that that gates or portals, whatever you want to call them, can, in theory, destabilize the properties of our current existence. Well, that's not good. Which doesn't sound good. No, it does not. Uh, we're out of transmitters, though. Man. But aren't we out of transmitters? H how would we do this? The general store is holding our transmitters, right? And climbing gear? We break in? Because if that's the case... That's what Evelyn said. Yeah, they have my stuff. So I know the owner. And I know where the key is. So that's no problem. Ooh, that's After good. That, we'll have to put another three transmitters to triangulate the right harmonic frequency. The math dictates they have to be roughly equidistant and at the same height. 
Hmm. So for us, that means a clear view of Edwards Island to compete with the signal traffic and get through to the other side of the harbor. After that, it should work? Sounds like something that makes just enough sense that I'll go along with it until it doesn't work. Yeah, that's about the level of confidence I'm at, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's get back to the general store, get those transmitters and gear. Hey. I just hope we're right. Uh, Riley! Riley, are you there? Pick up right now! Over! Oh, it's Evelyn. Uh, we should loop her in. Riley! Never hey, plan. Evelyn. So, things are bad, but we have a plan. Sort of. Uh, over. Riley, what plan? What's going on? The readings we're getting on our end here look really bad. Yep. We just know, based on these figures, there's something electromagnetic that's building in intensity. Evelyn, hey, it's Jacob. Yeah, we know it's bad and, and getting worse, but we figured out that if we use the transmitters to nullify the bad frequencies, it can diffuse them completely. You figured it out? Figured it out how? Over! Um, Some old ladies' journals yeah. Jacob had lying around. Yeah, what? Just, 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 old just don't worry, we know what to do. The transmitters will act as a net. It would be like the old radio towers. The geography's bend is like a natural amplifier. All we'd have to do is just place them high above sea level and it'll knock out the signal that's screwing everything up. Hmm. Uh, actually, this, that might work. Yeah. Ugh, and the stuff you need is just sitting at the general store right now. Ugh. That's not a big deal. That's Fred Hollinger's place. He's a buddy of mine. He keeps a spare key to the front door behind the back doormat. Hey, and I was gonna suggest just throwing a brick through the window. <laughs> but this is better. Great. Thank God for small towns. All right, I got a lot of stuff to get ready over here. Good luck, guys. Get ready. Over. Speed. over and out. What does she have to get ready over there? As far as we know, she's just sitting in front of, like, the console. Like, sure, she sh probably should be doing other stuff, but she's, like, sitting there at the base station just talking, you know? Oh, and Jacob, sorry, I forgot. Did you ever find Athena? Oh, uh, uh, no. Not, uh, not yet. You know, I, I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Country dogs can handle anything, you know? Oh, that's sad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th th thanks for checking. Over and out. Sorry, I, uh, my, my dog, Athena, got out last night. She goes on walks by herself all the time, but this is the first time she hasn't come back right away. Something spooked her, but I, 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 I don't know. Oh, man, that's. That's the worst. I'm sorry. Well, I'm no, I'm I'm sure she's okay. She she goes off all the time. Yeah. Um we exit to the left to get back to the general store. Okay. I'm hoping we'll just run across her. Yeah, definitely. Actually, this that's a very similar cabin, but I don't think it's the same cabin. Also, you know what? Never mind. Uh, the stuff happened over on Edwards Island, so it's a similar cabin, but not the same one. Mm -hmm. Hop on over. Oh, ow, oh, sorry. Uh, the rocks are a little slippery. <laughs> it's fine. I would have caught you. <laughs> Chuckles weakly. <laughs> the vibes in this game are immaculate, I must say. Uh, anything we need to get here from your truck? Uh, also... There's a little bit tidbits of the story with the uh, radio here. And a raccoon, if I'm not. What did you do? Agriculture. You'll be remembered. Perhaps. History is restless of aggressive men. I have my own order of events. Own order of events. You're not concerned with prosperity? No, I suppose you wouldn't be. To live in the memories of those who won't recognize you when you're when you've changed. When you've changed. I 
exist more fully here than I will there in time. Better here than in the ground. Hmm. So I suppose such asceticism would carry its own rewards. What's that? Resolution and all of that. Were you a believer before? Off and on. Off and on, off and on, like some blinking light. Was that simple for you? Well, it's never simple. That's weird. Bottom. Station. The potluck. You're listening to Let's Eat, damn it. <laughs> Let's eat, damn it. And I swear to God, I saw my dead uncle out the vending machine. But we have hungry listeners, so like fake nails, we press on. When last we spoke, <laughs> like fake nails, we press on. Going civil war. That is what chicken is best used in arrozco pollo. There are those who bleed, bone in, skin on thighs and drumsticks, and those who die a hundred times. I've done both versions of the dish multiple times. I don't know anything about this food dish. Tell you that the superior way is to only use boneless, skinless chicken thighs and no drumsticks, not one. You hear that? That's every single hot take for something I don't know. Cursing me out and then disowning me and then cursing me out again. But I stand by it. Bones are a hassle, and who likes seeing a pile of carcass parts during dinner? Skin doesn't add much flavor, not for how the chicken is used in this dish. So you're just adding bland, chewy fat. Yum, yum. Yum, Eyes yum. are the finest part of the bird in any configuration. It works beautifully with olives. And yes, I know. I know. Your great, 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 great grandmother's dying words were bone in, skin off thighs, and drumsticks. I know. But the beauty but. of this dish, of any dish, of life, is that there isn't just one way to taste. True. So, it's for each person. Eight, Forgive me. I say you eight boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Maybe bump it up to ten. Maybe more if you're feeling carnivorous. That's my brother. Here are your ingredients. Actually, forgot one. I always cook with a fresh cup of coffee nearby, and I always tell people how to cook with a fresh cup of coffee nearby. And since I'm now seeing the bottom of this chips mug, I do believe it's time for a break. Whoa! When it sounds like the universe agrees, let's see if the pot finished brewing. We'll be right back with how the metaphorical sausage is made. Stay tuned for instructions. Ninety-one point four. The pot. Yeah. There's so many interesting radio stations. Jacob's just looking at me like, what are you doing there? <laughs> Will you be seen? Is this like a poetry thing or who is anyone? Oxygen? There's some cult thing happening on this radio station. That is an interesting perspective, actually. Like, the way he's talking is still very cult-like, but that is an interesting perspective. 
Here, I'm gonna change. Um, so music there. I'm not gonna play that music in case it's copyright, but there's music there. I'm hearing so, extra footsteps. Embarrassing confession. Before my truck broke down, I was headed to the library to return a book. I was a month late in returning. Happens. It's 30 proper days. And I never even finished it. The thing Happens. And I walk there all the time. So I figured two birds, you know? Maybe she's chilling by the Dropbox. There's precedent. Not a good book? Eh, it was mindless brain candy. Fun, but no real uh, vitamins and <laughs> minerals, you know? Yeah, but really, I could have waited another 30 because Kamina P. all got rid of late fees last September. I mean, is it weird that I don't mind paying late fees? It helps I support the library. It promotes library usage, which is a big plus. But I mean, uh, there sure, has fair. to be consequences. Um, Life is nothing but late fees. Yeah, it's good practice. You really want to charge a kid 50 cents because he's one day late and returning dude the cat goes to school? You remember how hard it was to get money as a kid? You may as well charge them cold fusion. I do, and that's exactly why. Learn the lesson, young reader. Maybe a more considerate child also wants to know how that day at school went for dude, but now they'll never know. Anyway, now you know. Now Judge you know. Mm, go ahead. Mm, finish the book. Finish the damn thing. Come on, at this point you're like morally obligated. You're not the boss of me. So this conversation will continue, so. But, it, yeah, I, I should. I will. But the, cool. Okay, made it. Just this way to the general store. Cross your fingers, you never moved the key. I wanted to continue talking about that. Oh well. Up we go. So it's around back, apparently? Wherever back is? Just uh, yeah. follow me. It's right here. Okay, key should be right under the mat. Real high tech security, you know. Super high tech. Ah, I'm feeling dumb. <laughs> it's happening. Um, but which one? Um, no. Grab me a pack too. Hell yeah, and grab me a pack. Oh, screw it. Grab me too. <laughs> I'm all talk. Besides, the amount of fake sugar in these things, I don't need to grow an eyeball on my foot. <laughs> um, should we leave a note? Leave, like, a note or something? And what would this note say? Universe possibly collapsing, had to technically rob you, hugs and kisses, Jake and Rye. <laughs> True. There's the gear. Let's go. Back. Uh, mind if I take a look at the gear? Yeah. Give it to Jacob. Few more transmitters and that looks like a climbing rope, clasps, everything we'll need. Everything. Which, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that part. No, it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna have a great time. We'll Ugh. be fine. We'll be fine, Jacob. With the rope, it's pretty easy, honestly. Easy for some people. Now we're set. Anyway, we're set. Let's just let's just focus on fixing. We got our gear. We got our map. We're not restricted to the beaten path, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. We should start walking to as above sea level as we can get. Take a look at your map, and let's pick where we want to go. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, uh, there are exactly three more spots available that are at the same elevation. Right? Like, there's Church of the Grand Architect. There is that point. And then to Tega Falls. All right. Have an idea of where we're going? Yeah. Uh, I yeah, I think so. It doesn't seem too difficult. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. So, in the first game, it was pretty linear. You had to go to this place first and this place later. It looks like this, the story might still be pretty linear, but, like, you can choose where to go to, which is interesting and nice. Um... Hmm. I want to look at the community center because we're not really going to be back over here, I don't think. 
I'd like to look over here anyways. When we're done with all of this, you should come back here. Like this area. Best sunset view in town. Five crisp dollar bills in your pocket, you find a better one. Noted. So noted. And I intend to collect summers if it ain't up to snuff. 500 <laughs> pennies, you have my word. Building. This building looks like Lewis and Clark could have slept here, but the uh, security's new. Maybe it's a meeting house now or something? Oh, this place? No, no, this is uh, <laughs> the uh, Heritage Building. Mm. They're the permanent residents. They rent it for their church functions. Mm. A bunch of creeps. God, what a bunch of creeps. Even their church has to have this giant gate. Well, to be fair, I think that was built before they took it over, but yeah. Creeps. Based upon what I heard, way, it sounded kind of creepy. About. Sunsets on Mars are blue. Did you know that? What? Something about the, uh, the dust in the atmosphere. Interesting. Blue Martian sunset. That Saw it sounds... on a nature show. That sounds, that sounds delicious. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does have a wacky flavor of ice cream flavor to it, huh? I'm kind of jealous, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm totally down with uh, earthly and sunsets. Earthly and sunsets. No complaints. But, I don't know, makes you wonder what else is out there. Yeah, definitely. How much of it we'll never get to see. Yeah. Maybe that's just me. But, maybe it ain't. Envy no more, my man. We're going to Mars. You, me, Athena, pack some snacks. Ha, you can pick the tunes. Okay, um, where do we go first? I think... I think we go towards where it says Garland Highway. I think we try and go that way first. Probably not going to be able to go anywhere. Um, but then I think we head up to the Church of the Grand Architect first. Uh, but also this isn't the right way to go for that, so. Yeah. I'm liking this game a lot so far. Good time. Good game. Uh, does Jacob have anything to say about this over here? What do you got to say, Jacob? You know, I, I used to think about Maggie Adler and just what she used to tell me about all this, at least an hour of every day. With time, it faded, you know, like everything. Like everything, But I yeah. never stopped playing around with radios, trying to prove her right, trying to vindicate her a little. It is Everything right. that's been going on these last few months has really stirred up a lot. It'd be so absolutely crazy if this has to do with her. Yeah, it would. Miss her? You sound like you miss her. I mean, yeah, we were pals, you know. Oh, I used to practically live at the library, and she'd come and check out books on electromagnetism. She'd ask what I was reading. No one else would. She yeah. was a, uh, she was a character, <laughs> and I was so young. I don't know. I was a kid and bored, and my house sucked. So, you know, why not hang out with some weird old lady who believed in magic? <laughs> Eventually, I stopped going magic. to the library. I'd read all the Encyclopedia Browns anyway. And she just carried this weight on her. You could see it in her trembles. Hmm. It just got to be too much eventually. Sadness was like radiation. You, you can only be around it so much. Before... Yeah. Did you get back in touch? You ever get back in touch? No. No, I, I didn't. That's sad. She, uh, she, she died. A few years back. I actually went to the funeral. Her only request was to be buried somewhere you couldn't see water. They did it on a hill, southern side of town. I think I was the only one to attend. Never wanted that to happen to me, you know? Yeah, that's... That's sad. Please let me answer. Make no lasting connections. It didn't make me feel good to see her like that. Hmm, that was nice of you. I mean... Was it? Actually, sure. Thanks. Come on. Onward. Onward. Can we go through here? Garland Ghost Town. What's this all about? Oh, yeah, we were here. We can drop a rope.
Which puts us... Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, we were there, and now we're up here. That's... That's not how these things work, right? Okay, so take this anchor. Somebody left this behind, which is good, because rope climbing requires them. See, just slide the rope through and hook. I haven't done this since basic, but riding a bike and all that. Uh, just take it slow. <laughs> For me. For me. Okay, and then... Gosh, I want I want to climb up the full path, but like maybe the only way up here is via. Okay, I see now. Uh, here, I'm gonna move the mouse. Um, in the game, yeah. Okay, so maybe this here. Oh, Garland Highway connects into Garland Ghost Town. Ah, okay, and so this connects here, and then we go like up here. Okay, okay. If this is supposed to go through here and then up into there okay it's supposed to connect like that i just wasn't realizing that my bad Whee! man i was really hoping to avoid this but uh take a walk on the wild side jake oh god proud of you oh god of god i'm proud of you jacob you're a rock climbing fool oh i'm a fool all right but thanks <laughs> i'm a fool Copper Creek Trail. Oh, there's a weird looking lock on the door. It might be a radio lock. One of those things that needs a calibrated radio to tune open. They use alternate frequency RF signals to control the deadbolt. If hmm. we had a radio with a broader range, we could tune in its code and unlock it. Hmm. Ah, oh, man. Well, I don't think we can get around. It'll be impossible to get in unless we find one of those radios. Ugh. Let's just come back later. Yeah. If we find a better radio along the way, great. If not, maybe we'll have come up with a workaround. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Okay, so it is somewhat linear, just it lets you explore hey, Olivia. out. Hey, Olivia, Olivia Massel, are you there? Over. Oh, wait, hold up. Stay off the walkie. Olivia's at Garland, where the receptions are. Over and out. Olivia Massel? I thought she sounded familiar. Heard that name before? Have you heard that name before? Massel? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, Olivia Massel is the teenage daughter of, uh, well, the easiest way to say it is they're a cult. The Massels. A well-known group of nutter-butter lunatics. Extremely wealthy, very insular, very private. Huh. Her mom and dad actually died in a prop plane crash almost four years ago, but she lives with her aunt and uncle now. That weird thing on the trail path? That's them. Parentage, they call themselves. Mm, and there are parentage. stories about people disappearing. Saw their flyer. Performing rituals and stuff. Yeah, I saw their flyer at the store. You think this is a cult thing? Seriously? Hey, I'm just saying what I know and what I've heard, and you can take it or leave it. I just, I, I think it's her. Yeah, interesting. Uh, my legs are not on that rope. I admire that they're using, like, actual little bit of physics for the rope, but, like, my legs are not on that rope. Also, I snapped into place there a little bit. Okay, let's go. So, since we can't go there, um, I like that it puts in a little rope there, but, uh, probably... I say we go to Charity Point next. Or that's the next place we try, anyways. So, probably via Jacob's house. Riley, you there? Over. What's up? Hey, Evelyn, what's going on? Over. I just wanted to see how you were doing and how it's looking out there. Over. Uh, time and space. Evelyn, uh, how do I put this? 
This stuff, the, the portal above Edwards Island, is really affecting just everything. It's hard to stay in one time and, and place here. Over. I know this sounds insane, but... No, I, I don't think you're insane, Riley. Our weather station and relay measurements are... Well, the numbers are... Otherworldly. That's right. Way off track from where they should be. Yeah. Yeah, Jim, I know. Sorry, Jim? a co-worker's letting me know he couldn't get his car started. It's okay. Riley, I want to stick to the plan. Still plant those transmitters, but... Can you do me a favor? Could you give me a call whenever you plant a transmitter? It would help me help you with what's going on. Just to get our readings straight. Yeah. That sound all right? Yeah, Evelyn, that's fine. Over. Great, great. It's important you call me before you head out to your next objective when you plant them, okay? It'll help a ton. Okay, okay, I'll let you go. Remember, I'm on seven. Good luck out there. Over and out. Hmm. Like, I want to believe Evelyn, but I'm worried about, like, the other bean, you know? Yeah, we need to go back. I'm worried about, like, the other beans intercepting and, like, telling, like, pretending to be Evelyn and stuff. When they, uh, when they hired me for this, they said I was going to have to work with somebody. And I said, you know, that's fine. What, uh, what can you tell me about them? And they said, all we can tell you is that she used to live here and then she moved away. And okay. now she's moved back. Yeah, and, and I remember thinking, that's funny. I never heard of anyone ever coming back. Miss Camina. To Camina. I mean, people come back to their hometowns all the time, I guess. Well, somewhere deep down in a place maybe I didn't want to admit I missed Kamina or I, I miss the feeling of having potential yeah you know you're in trouble when the only conversations you ever have are with bartenders hey, you know your dad oh, it's over this folks right. garage when I was a kid how's the how's he doing uh, still an electrician it's been a minute since I've seen him in town yeah he's not doing too well to be honest this you know, story been said. Had me kind of late, so he's getting up there now. That was part of why I came back, honestly, to be a little closer to him. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, give him my best when we see him. Look, you, you, you came back because you missed Kamina, and I know that it's going terribly wrong so far. True. But it's only the first day. Who knows what tomorrow will be like? Uh, it can, it can only, only go, up. go up from here, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, so that way would be to Tortega Falls. Let's go this way. So I took a quick look. The the game is about um uh it's like eight to twelve ish hours long. Six if I'm just like beelining it, but yeah. So it's probably gonna be like two, three ish streams. <sighs> I'm sorry, I've just been really tired recently. Ah, sorry another for the thing. We can climb down from here. Oh, goody. Goody. Whee. That's some awful rope burn on the hands. Just sliding down like that. Ah, bit of a leap there. Uh, we could climb down here also. It might take a little longer. Uh, oh. Riley, uh, Riley, uh, Jesus. Are you okay? She actually Please fell. say something? Riley? I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh, or maybe I just wish I was dead. Rip. Uh, give, me, give me a second. Uh. Hey, uh, careful coming down. I got it. I'm actually surprised that you can fall okay. from the jump. Are you doing all right? 
you look okay. That's a good sign. Mostly just embarrassed. It's nice to be reminded you're not 16 anymore. <laughs> you can, Bruce. Yeah, don't be embarrassed. I'd have shattered my face. At least you know how to roll a little. So, we, we want to go up there, but the caves are pretty well connected. We follow this one through. Should wind up somewhere on the other side. She admittedly isn't the prettiest plan, but she's the best we got. Uh, unless this is a bear cave. Yeah. In which case, we probably won't wind up somewhere on the other side. Not unless you mean the other side in some sort of religious sense. No, I don't think there are bears out here, but well, of course now you've got me wondering. Now you got me wondering. Apparently the, uh, why did the chicken cross the road joke to get to the other side? Anyways, Apparently that was like in the sort of religious context of the other side. So yeah, that that's a thing. Just this way, I think. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. My bot's not working. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Uh. At notify me, cap. I've been live for two ish hours. Sorry for forgetting to ping. There we go. I wish I had a flashlight. Oh. Speak and you shall receive. There's symbols on the wall to the right there. Not not gonna comment on the symbols, okay. Sure. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus, when did all this fog come in? Yeah. Hey, uh, if you're on this frequency, pick up. Who's that? Riley, are you there? Uh, okay. yes, this is Riley speaking. Over. Man, you sound, uh, actually, you don't sound at all how I thought you'd sound. But, uh, how's it going? Over. I'm... Uh, I'm fine. Who's yeah, this? I'm fine. Who's this? Over. Um, you know who this is, but I'll give you the space to figure it out for yourself. For dad, okay. maybe? I don't want to waste your time. That's a pretty important resource. But my mom used to tell me stories. That's why I'm calling. Because one of the stories was about tonight and the things that are going on. Anyways, I just had a hunch. I'll see you later. Uh, okay. Yes. Who am I speaking with? Over. You're speaking with Nick Stewart, ma'am. Uh, now, can you tell me why you're on this frequency? Over. Um. Hello? Uh. I'd appreciate an answer. Over. I didn't call you, buddy. Over. No, it was you. The reception was bad, but it was you. Hmm. Listen, I got you on the horn here, so can you do me a favor? You sound pretty clear means you're probably in Camino. I am, yes. Right? Probably at the dock by Charity Point. There's an outpost for local fishermen near you. Can you take a minute and check if a blue backpack is in there? Blue backpack. It's the outpost for local fishermen. I want to make sure it's still there. Sure. Yeah, uh, sure. I'll help out. A blue backpack? Yeah, awesome. Great. That'd be a big help. Just give me a ring if you see it. Thanks. Over and out. On five. Um, let's go down real quick. We might as well. We're right here. <laughs> oh, I hate this persistent cough. It's awful. Huh. This must be the outpost the fisherman guy was talking about. Maybe we help him out. Maybe not. We are in a time crunch here. I guess somebody sleeps here, sometimes. Yeah, fishing expeditions can sometimes take a while, I think. Actually, I don't really know. Don't listen to me. 
Marlin. Why do people love killing things and putting them on walls for other people to see what they've killed? True. I don't know. Big agree on that. School, probably. That'd be my guess. Um, let's not talk about. Oh, okay. Talk about the radio first. Well, I don't know what else I expected. Oh, it's a uh, that guy's backpack. Maybe you should call him back. Let him know we found it. Yeah. Found your backpack. Hey, uh, Nick? Yeah, your your backpack's here. It's blue, right? Over. Ah, okay. Good. I thought maybe I did bring it, but then the stupid thing fell overboard. Uh, look, this is an emergency line for boaters only. I'm retired now, but I was sort of an amateur explorer. Never charted anything, but hmm. I'm all over Kamina, so if you need any info about the area, or Edwards Island, I've been all up and down the coastline. Oh, interesting. Just give me a holler. Anytime. Uh, I'll be up all night. Sure, we'll be. Sure, I just might. Over. Okay, thanks for the help again. Over and out. Um... I think Nick needs a friend. I should stay in contact with him. Okay, so, uh, we can go to different areas and maybe get a little bit of additional details about the area. This is a cool looking spot. And there's a ladder up over there, but I don't know how likely it will be to get to that, or how easy it will be to get to that. Yeah. I guess we'll see later. Jump it. I'm just holding right. Okay. <laughs> Several anchor points there, which is interesting. These uh, caves are um, connected, I think, to Garland. We'll have to go there later. Interesting. So You'll see how widespread it is. If you uh, know the tunnels well enough, you can walk to and from practically any point in town completely underground. Interesting. Have you been down, you, uh, been down here before? Me, uh, personally? No. Some of the kids do. Or oh, wait, wait, wait. What? You see that? Hello? Uh, let's just... Jacob, shh. Stay still. Well, uh, that was weird. I uh, don't think we're alone. Could have been a trick of the eye. You, uh, never know. I want to know more about that story with the kids, but also we got spooked. Mm, definitely not jumping that one. Jesus, someone should put a cones here or something, right? <laughs> Maybe there's another way around. We need to get to the other side. Uh, you jump his uh, test. Maybe it's not as far as it looks. You. Oh, hey, check it out. We could uh, probably climb down this. Wow, your night vision is way better than mine. Didn't even see this. Lead the way. Um. Well. Hold on. I wanted to hear what he said about. Okay, it's over this way. I wanted to hear what he said about you jump. It is dark. Please? There we go. The lighting on the climbable surfaces, like, it's a bit odd. It's fine. Uh, Jacob? Uh, Jacob? Hey, sorry. I saw another way out over there, but false alarm. It's the wind tunnel. I, I think I, I, I might have seen something in the water, but... Uh, never mind. It's gone now anyway. We'll be gone soon, Riley. Don't worry. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, wait. Wow. This is... I've never been in here. Watch your step. I don't think this was meant for tourists. Uh, There's junk all over. Pretty don't trip. It's... Uh, sort of pretty, in a way. No, 
it's amazing. I had another life. I would have been a geologist. Or took at least an intro to geology course. <laughs> Not gonna get us where we need to go. Nope. Nope. It's kind of sad seeing this thing so broken. At least there's no skeletal remains, I guess. True. It doesn't mean it was empty when it crashed. Just saying. That, that's you it. really need to say that? Someone did. Uh, a cage? Like a canary? No way. Literally a canary in a coal mine? Yeah, that is a bird. Feathers, beak. It works. What's it doing? Uh, why is it here? I would guess to detect carbon monoxide. But no one's worked down here in decades. So, uh, it beats me. We should free it, though. Oh, I can't free it now? Hey, look, Jacob, it's an anchor. Oh, which means it's another rope climb adventure. You first. Game? There we go. Um... Uh, what is that? There's a tear? I don't know. Some kind of temporal anomaly? Like the thing in the sky? Let's avoid it if, if we can. Hey, wait, you're just gonna... We haven't seen if we can maybe just walk out. Look, we don't know what this thing will do. Let's see what right? it does. This seems crazy. Let's just see what this does. It I might help. slightly to strongly disagree, but... Uh, okay. Enter tear. Okay, organs intact. 1899. Attached. I'll take it. I think we're back when the mine was somewhat operational. I don't think anyone's around. Which means we time travel. We have traveled through time. Uh, on any other day, I'd be screaming, but instead, let's uh, see if the time tear opened anything up. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm uh, starting to get. Sorry, it's it's not claustrophobia, but uh, we're just like on the precipice of madness here, you know. Gotcha. As a kid, when I was anxious, my brother and I would play a game that kind of helped me out. It was called One Word Story. Basically, Ooh, two people yeah. tell a single story, one word at a time, bouncing back and forth. That's it good in story. Out, chill mm -hmm. me out, at least. How about that? Sure. Uh, sure. Sounds good. Let's do it. Cool. Great. I'll start us off. Once. Now you go. Uh, upon. Once. Upon. Oh, yeah, this always happens. I'll skip ahead. It's like playing through on call. So, once upon a time, there was a... Okay, now you go. Uh... Once upon a time, monster. there was a monster. Ooh, spooky. Okay. Mm, named. Once upon a time, there was a monster named something. Olivia. Olivia. <laughs> Damn it. Not a good one. Okay. Everyone. Ooh. Uh, loved. Ah, loved. loved him. Did we win? So, did we win? Because I feel like a winner. Uh, sure. Why not? We won the game. Okay, so let's review. Once upon a time, there was a monster named Olivia. Everyone loved him. The end. You can name a boy Olivia. Why the hell not? Yeah. Not, a, not bad. You First feel bad? always hard. So, feeling better? A little less like you're underwater? I am. <laughs> yeah, I really am. Thanks. That was actually really helpful. Like, really. Hmm. Where does all ebbed? Corpse. Okay, dead canary here. Maybe we can meet our bird's grandpa. Yeah, maybe. Uh, except... Uh, it's dead. Yeah. I, uh, wouldn't look in there. Uh, we should I hurry. think that means we should hurry up. Maybe there's gas or whatever. Come on. Let's get a move on. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, looks like it's working? Uh, how do we get up there, though? Yeah... Don't know. I wonder if this. Like that? I want to take a little look over here. Uh, let's go ahead and take the ladder up.
Maybe we caused the ladder to fall? I like that it's a little better lit up in the olden days. P please? Oh, come on. Okay, it has to be higher, apparently. No. Okay, we go down here. We go down again. We go over here. We go down. And then we'll raise this up to... And maybe the very top. Who knows? Here. Let me lower it down first. Might as well. Hey, it works. Uh, awesome. awesome. Man, I can't believe this thing is working. This whole night is just melting brain. So yeah, far. working so far. Okay, it's uh, a little rickety, but uh, actually, yeah, shoot, how are you going to get up? I thought I'd see another way once I was here, but... Wait, so you're telling me that there's uh -oh. no... That, that doesn't seem good. Paimon, yeah. fast! I think this place is having a minor meltdown. God damn it, the mine is collapsing, I don't have much time. Uh, uh, no, don't, don't go down, I'm trying to go right. If you set the lift in a way that you can use it as a bridge, maybe. Damn it, that's what I did before. Know what back I felt. In, uh, you know, now. Whew, man. Yeah. Thank the Lord or Lords above. Now we know why it fell. Come on, look at these symbols. Uh, you're not going to comment on them? Okay. Sure. Hey, we're here. Actually. Okay, it looks like there's only one path there, so. There's something glittering in the bottom right. Jacob Summers paused. The mountain stood its ground. He knew he needed to climb it. He knew he could climb it. But the doubt, oh, such towers of doubt, if he actually would. Riley climbed with ease. Riley always climbed with ease. But there was no ease in Jacob's spirit. Just dread. Stark no. and silent. How do you do this? Like, seriously. How do you just, like, do this? No, how do you do this? How do you do this? Pretend I don't know, me. just pretend you're me. Okay, I am Riley. And I can not do this. Didn't uh. work, champ. I think I'm uh, gonna have to find another way around or something. Okay, so that's what this over oh, here is. And I will drop the rope in a little bit. But I'm going to see what this over you, here is. Uh, see anything over there? Like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Like a bear? What is this? Oh, no way. I buried this. When I was a kid, Maggie had me bury letters for her. Weird, I know, but she paid five bucks each. I promised I'd never read any of them. Never did. Never will. Keep your eyes open. I guarantee there are more of these out there. Okay. So uh, there's a little glimmer. One of Maggie's old army buddies turned into a pen pal.
Uh, dear Kenneth Young, it's nice to hear from you. I always assumed you moved to North Carolina, so it was especially nice to hear that this wasn't the case. Uh, managing your dad's textile plant just didn't seem to suit you. I think you'll find Kamina still has its limited charms. They've improved the roads, and the shellfish is still excellent. I wouldn't visit Milner, though. It's unrecognizable from when we were stationed. Uh, it's a tourist factory now, and their wares are overpriced. The bad dreams are a common refrain from other past recruits. After the uh, Canaloa, people seem to... Uh, oh, that's it. There's more to the letter? That's weird. People seem to have a much harder time sleeping. I wouldn't think much of it. Turn off your TV after 10 p.m. It will help. M. Nothing, and plenty of it. That's probably good. We've seen plenty of some things tonight. Yeah. Okay, I'll get up. Like, okay, so... The, the one thing with, like, the response system is I wish it gave me a little bit of time to, like, queue up because I, I want to be able to hear what they're saying without interrupting them but then, like, also be able to answer. Yeah. Over to here and up, and then over and over. She just kind of snaps into place. It's fine. Watch your head. Long rope. Maybe. Yeah, long. Jacob rope. was grateful, embarrassed, but grateful. Boing. How many bones do you think I'd break if I fell right now? Right now? Break, not fractured. I'm talking an audible snap. Uh, Most often. Let's go with like 96%. Nice even number, nice instant death. And upsie daisy, and okay. Didn't die, sweet, box ticks. After yeah. you jump you. Into the caves again. Hmm. Just a little bit further. Hopefully. So, getting close. Thank God. Uh, I think we gotta go up there. And yeah. here we go. One latch at a time. You feel okay climbing this one? Does it matter? <laughs> okay, I'll be fine. Let's just do it. Ah, ooh. <laughs> careful. You did it. Ah, and my fingers are only bleeding a little. The ladder's just up ahead. Uh, my light is flickering. Ah! Oh, shit. Jacob? Uh, what was that? Uh, what the hell was that? I think you dropped this. There. You doing okay, kiddo? Didn't hurt yourself too bad. Dad? Uh, Dad? I don't... What are you... Mother bears will protect their young, especially during mating season, so be extra mm. careful not to break that light. Yeah. Hey, look, kiddo. I'm sorry you couldn't go on your fifth grade field trip to the National Park. I know you didn't want me to come along and chaperone. You never liked a crowd, but... I'm just sorry I couldn't afford it. But we can do lots of hikes like this one over the summer. Right? So you don't have to that. mope around the house so much? Oh, yeah. I remember this. I mean, I don't know why they need $200 for a bus ride to a shared hotel room and communal dinner. I'll hmm. make it up to you, though. Yeah. Your uh, teacher said really nice things about you. Said you did really well in science class. That's good. And Miss Cavendish said you wanted to write your paper on mom. Riley, she expects you to interview someone for that. You have to think of somebody else. Somebody more available. And I don't she's mean me. I can interview her when she's back. When is she coming back? You know she's not coming back, Riley. That's happening. Your mother, she was incapable <laughs> of most things. 
She this couldn't love me, chair. she couldn't love you, and I know in your heart you want to find out why, but there's no why there. Her soul just has too many cracks. You see, it just can't hold anything for very long. You understand? Yes. I think so. Good. We can talk about it later, after we find the clearing. Also, just the chair and the lamp in the cave. I don't know if I should have said yes or no there. Like... Oh, shoot. I think we took a wrong turn. It's okay. Climb up this ledge, and I'll meet you around the other way. By the creek. Won't take me an extra three minutes. Oh, you're getting too old already for a little climb? <laughs> too lazy, yes. You'll be fine, right, Red? You're more capable than you think. Okay. Now, I'll see you up top in a bit. In a bit. And she's not gonna see her dad. Meet you around the bend. Riley, hey, uh, there you are. I called and called, but the echoes, that was... I didn't want to... You know, leave without you, though. Yeah. I, uh, I think my, um, uh... No? Riley? You okay? I saw my dad. I, I just saw my dad for a second. It was another time thing. I, it, it's okay. I'm, I'm okay. It was just, you know, it's, it's nothing. I'm good. Let's, uh, let's just keep going. Oh, uh, okay. Let's... Uh, let, let's do it. Yeah, let's get going. All right, let's get out of here. I'm good on cave. Forever. Okay. Harley, come in. I'm lost. On my way out. Oh, that's a. Uh, uh, th that must be Violet. Was her name? I, I think she was out here somewhere. Hmm. We must be in range. And keep a uh, keep an eye out. Here, let's talk with Nick. No. Um. I, I want to check on this real quick. Oxen free to when can I talk with Nick? Mm. Hmm. Okay. Hopefully I didn't lose out on being able to talk with Nick. I wanted to talk with Uh, hello? Hi, this is a pre-recorded message. You've reached the Kamina High School radio advice line. If you'd like to get some advice, just call again when the line is open. Listen to 88.1 to tune in and find out when to call. Thank you. Have an okay day. Okay day. <laughs> just go ahead and drop it. We invented calculators way back when Shakespeare was around. We don't need to know our tape. <laughs> Okay, everyone, welcome to the Kamina High School Radio Advice Line with some arbitrarily chosen musical tracks approved by Principal Haddish. Our advice line is now open, so bring on those questions. I'll happily steer for you. Hello? Uh, hello? Hi, this is a pre recorded message. It, it said it was open. You've reached though. the Kamina High School Radio Advice Line. If you'd like to get some advice, just call again when the line is open. Listen to 88.1 to tune in it said and it was find open. out when to call. Thank you. Have an okay day. These confusing times we call our lives. Go to channel 8 on your radios or walkie-talkies and chat with me, please. That's channel 8. Okay, let's hear local dumbasses with Mouse in the House. Okay. Can I get to Hey, uh, is this the Kamina High School radio station? This is Riley, first-time caller, first-time listener. Uh, can I get some advice? Over. Life coaching or uh, something more specific. 
Um, general life. Uh, hit me with the general life stuff. Uh, general life stuff. I don't know. Wash your hands after going to the movies. Here's some real advice, though. If you see three teenagers at the docks tonight, running around mm. with radios, wearing masks, tell them Maria thinks they're assholes. Ooh. Also, call back if you want to talk about anything. Like, anything at all. Cool. If you're the first fresh caller in a week. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Please call. Please call. You around? Maria? Are you around? Over? No, Dad. I don't want to go to the dentist again. My teeth hurt for a long time. Hmm. Something kind of creepy about that. Um, I kind of want to call Evelyn. Maybe we call Evelyn about that thing we went. Hey, Evelyn, can you hear me? I'm pretty far off the grid, so just checking. Over. Yeah, I know. Okay. <sighs> okay, I guess you're crapping. Let's go. I think, yeah, this is near the top. Gotta be a good transmitter spot somewhere around here. Wait, really? Oh, wow. Fell. Embarrassed. Let's find a way around. I love that. Now that I've had a minute or so to process, despite the fact that I went back in time to use a collapsing elevator from the turn of the century, I'm doing all right, surprisingly. Specifically regarding the, uh, the elevator, I should say. Uh, good for you. Wow, that's just great. We're all oh. very proud. I smell sassafras, and that's Why? just fine. You frass that sass. <sighs> I wish there was tone indicators. Like, put a slash S at the end, like, please. I would have done the you're just in shock then. Whatever happened at Fort Milner must have really messed things up for a while. Kenneth, don't follow the whispers you hear on the radio. Those things you hear at night are orphaned dreams, looking for someone to startle and haunt. See your family more often. They care about you. Your visions don't. M. Interesting. Yeah, so if I see a little sparkle, go for it. It's part of the achievement hunting. No, no, no! Uh, don't Violet, hurt look, me! It's that girl, Violet! She's one of parentage. Come on, we have to help her. Uh oh. Don't cry. Don't die. Hey. Wait. Uh. No. Uh. Violet. Violet. I. I my voice. You can't make me. I'm almost. I'm going to be seventeen. I'm seventeen. I am. Are you okay? Jacob, are you, uh, okay? I'm not going. No. Okay. I don't want to go to the floor with you. Hmm. Because I told them I would. Violet. Violet? Are you okay? No. Uh! Oh. I feel sick. I've nothing mm, felt better. Is this with like a counselor or something? What else did he get you? Skate too. I told you you couldn't roller skate until you got your grades up. Dad hmm. didn't care. He didn't care about my wishes or he didn't care about your grades. About them. About not having them or whatever. What did he care about? Hmm? Why 
Why do you even get them for you? Because he wanted you to have them. Did he talk about me? What did he say? He did And what else did you do with your father Troubled yesterday? family situation? Nothing. Nothing. We went to the store and he got me some... Okay, so he you got can. me a magazine. What else did he get you? Shoot, too. Uh, stay with me, okay? Okay, Violet, just... Just stay with me, okay? Uh, oh. Okay. I couldn't react fast enough. Hey, Dad. Oof. Maybe I should have just climbed the cave with you. You doing okay? The peak is just over here. One more thing about school, and then I'll drop it. Because I don't want to ruin the morning. Fair. You can't be getting into fights anymore. I know that girl Julie spread some rumor, but uh, they're gonna kick you out of school if you keep it up. No more friends. No more science class. Am I in trouble? Are you mad at me? Am I in trouble? I'm not thrilled with you right now, but I don't know if that'll disrupt pizza night. Pizza night, yeah. <laughs> hey, do me a favor and show me that penny you got in your pocket there. Uh, show penny. When I install electricity in someone's home, I bury a really long, uh, let's call it a stick. Mm -hmm. Under the it's ground. A grounding rod. This stick is made of copper, like that yeah. penny. We call it grounding. Mm -hmm. Very important part of the job. Why'd you do that? Well, electricity is, uh, is it's a lot always like mad. you, yeah. actually. <laughs> it's always mad. And Wait. being mad is what lets electricity do its job. Sometimes it can be too much, mm -hmm. and that's when people get hurt. Yeah. Just focus on the penny, and just let it go. Hmm. Okay. Just let go of being mad. As a grounding technique. Because sometimes electricity just needs to go somewhere. Fair, yeah. Sometimes you know, sometimes a lot of things do. I'm, is this making sense? Uh, no. I wanted to respond. I haven't chewed gum since I was 12. I'm already late for school, Tom. I'll write you a note. I have a test of and I can't make it up. I don't care, Violet. I need my purse to go to the interview. I shouldn't have to do this. Unless you want to get a job. Just because you went out drinking last night and lost your purse. Do what? Doesn't mean you can destroy this school Wednesday for me. I don't know where your first is. You take my gum out of it all the time. I'm sure you saw it last. I haven't chewed gum since I was 12. Just help me. Okay, let's leave I'm it again. Already late. I'll write you a note. I have a test in history, and I can't make it up. I don't care, Violet. I need my purse to go to the interview. I shouldn't have to do this. Unless you want to get a job. Just because you went out drinking last night and lost your purse. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, jump over here. There's one of these. So we need to align this. Form, so I could tell a little bit of what was going on, but is it over? Feels over. Um, uh, that better. Have okay, been. that should be that. That better have been. Uh, that. I should have asked. Let's what see if we can help the kid. Kid. You 
okay there, Violet? Listen. Stay right there. Uh. I mean it. Hey, it's okay. I can help you. Just tell me what's going on. I have no reason to believe that you're real. That's fair. It's only real That's valid. If Olivia says it is. They've been talking to each other forever. Who's talking At to you? At least who? that's what it feels like. You didn't know who's been talking to who? Uh, Olivia and them. They won't let me stop. Hmm. I just, just want to go home. The bridge. Come on, Violet. Can you just can you just back away from the bridge a bit for Which me? Which way is my house? Do you know where I live? My mom's waiting for me. I don't think she's okay, Riley. <sighs> um, just not? keep heading that way, away from us. You should end up near the cliffs. Might be some climbing. You okay with that? I'm going to get my friends and go home now. Okay. Stay uh, safe. Thank you. Would have been nice. Don't let them take you. Uh, keep out of keep trouble. Keep out of trouble. <sighs> I just hope you know what you're doing. Uh, I don't know if just letting her run off into the night was the right call. She could have fallen, Jacob. She could have. It, it, it could have been bad. Safe is better. At least for my psyche. Basically, my thought there is. I would have liked to have her come with us, but she was like height in like a heightened state there where I think pressuring her, trying to get her to come with us would have ended up bad. So having her leave us would was the safest option, basically. Okay, well, let's find a high spot for the transmitter. Come on. Yeah. Uh, that's off to the right for us. Charity point. Oh, I like that there's a different perspective here. Music's bopping. Um, actually, I want to see if I have anything to say about Charity Point. Nope, nothing. Okay. Alright, let's see if it does something. Okay, and we gotta call Evelyn after this. towards the bottom. There we go. Ah, there it goes. Huh, all right. Take that, weirdos. Uh, seem to be working. Take that, you mask-wearing, moon-worshipping weirdos. And the horse you came in on. What? Let's get back on the trail. Yeah, let's. Interesting that, like, the first one started green, but then it immediately went red. Uh, oh, 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 um... Evelyn? Please? Whenever we... Can I do it up there next to it? <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe I have to do it, like, immediately next to this. Evelyn? Um... Evelyn, I would really like to talk with you. Why are you not letting me talk with you? Please? I don't want to talk about it. Whoa! don't want to talk about it and you can't make me 
Talk about so what? There. Uh, talk about what? Brandon is a jerk, and I'm not sorry I told him so. I said I was sorry for pushing him, but I'm not sorry about the rest. So I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay? You don't have to I don't talk. want to. Okay. No talking then? What? The rest of the night. No! That's not what I meant! I'll be able to get burgers later, though. Ah, I guess I'll just make a salad instead. I don't want a salad. <sighs> I told Brandon I was sorry. I told Mr. Severson I was sorry. And I am sorry. I mean, he wouldn't stop making fun of my hair. But still, I just get mad. And it's like, it's like a sneeze. Uh, my hand still really hurts. I'm glad I feel you said bad. So. Well, I'm glad you said sorry. At least. It was only because the principal made me. I hate getting angry. I hate the feeling. I hate not being able to turn it off. Give him a penny. Here. It's a penny. A penny? What Focus for? Focus your anger on that. Pretend you're electricity. Uh, so, pretend you're know. like electricity. People who work with electricity put, um, put copper in the ground. Just in case there's too much of it, so it has some place to go. Yeah. So next time you're mad, just pretend you're electricity, and that penny is your someplace else. Um, what was that? Hey, what are you doing? We both know that's not gonna work. No, I don't what? want to. What? Uh, Hi. Sorry, I, I was just. Back in fifth grade, yelling at a teacher. Oh. Oh, God. That was weird. These things are really giving me a headache. Here, let, let me pause and properly say hello. Hello there. Uh, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a nice day. Um, the game kind of keeps rolling, so I, I need to take these pauses to talk with chat. So, yeah. Weird. God, this is, this is too weird. Too mm. weird, yeah. Seconded. Did you see a kid? Hey, uh, a minute ago there, did you see a kid, like 12, maybe? Maybe younger? Uh, no. I'm pre pretty sure no. But I mean, it's still pretty hazy. Uh, maybe I did and I don't remember. I think Sorry. he was the kid. Can I go to seven? Evelyn, you there? I planted the first transmitter. Great, awesome. The numbers are coming back. It looks nice. so weird, like, Frequencies look like they're decaying, but also, huh, it appears to be breaking a lot of rules Doppler established 200 years ago. Well, How are things uh, that's interesting. Does it feel weird out there? Over. It's crazy uh, It's out pretty here. nuts out here, Evelyn. If I were you, I'd stay inside. Hunker down. Over. Yeah, I, no, I should. I'm sorry, my mind's, I'm waiting on a call from my sister. We were supposed to get dinner because she lives in Kamina and I haven't actually heard from her in a while. Mm, that's nice. Sorry. I'm just thinking about that. If I sound uh, distracted. Focus Over. on your sister. Oh, that sucks. But just focus on your sister, Evelyn. Don't worry about this stuff for a minute. Over. Thanks. I wish I could. I'm just hoping everything's okay and her phone is just dead. Yeah. All right. Sorry about all this. Thanks for the call. Hit me up when you plant the next one. Yeah. Over and out. Over and out. Uh... Can't talk with Maria, can't talk with Nick, okay. Just periodically I'm gonna pull out the radio, check, see if I can talk with one of the people I have listed. Yeah, it'll be a thing, you know? What does this sign say? Charity point, okay, fair enough. Rope got dropped already. Uh. How did how did Violet get across? Yeah, th this is gonna sound, but I, I keep having flashes of high school passing you in the hall between third and fourth period. That's when I'd see you during the day. Everyone else always looked in a hurry, but you definitely weren't. <laughs> hmm. We ran in different circles, I think. And it's just weird, I guess, doing this together. It's, it's weird how things go. 
in high school. <laughs> I, I remember you always looking a little frazzled. Frazzled, yes. Yes, that describes high school. Yeah, the, the dog was always eating my homework. I could never <laughs> keep my shoes on straight. Uh, can I ask? There were like six kids who didn't get a yearbook photo. And I was always like, who wouldn't want to get their yearbook picture taken? It's senior year. Because I'm at heart a dictionary salesman. Mm. But can I just ask, did you just not want to? Um, If it's like personal, truth. then you forget. My mom came back. My, uh, my. Uh, Kitten Chuckle Nugget, hello there. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Mom left when I was a baby. She just couldn't handle it, my dad says. And sometimes I'd see people who looked like her from pictures my dad had, you know? And on the day they took yearbook photos, I saw her sitting in a car outside the school. Interesting. It probably wasn't her. I mean, of course it wasn't her, but I just didn't go in. Bummed around with some older friends. Saw a movie instead. Hmm. Oof. Sorry. That's um, that's hard. I'm trying to I'll cope better. see her in reflections and passing windows and stuff still. I try to get over it, you know, but some things make it hard sometimes. Yeah. That could be rough. Uh, like, I want to be truthful about these things, not try and bury anything about it, you know? Because, like, that, that's what... I, I try and do the same thing as well. Like, sometimes there's, like, I need to bury something, you know? Like, uh oh it's it's just really painful. But even when things are painful, I try and be, like, really open and honest about it. Just, like, cut through, like, the bullshit, basically, and be like, hey, th this really hurt me, or, like, I'm, I'm really hurting from this thing. Like, just trying to connect on like the human level you know of like hey i'm experiencing this uh yeah i, I don't know i'm i'm stumbling with words here but yeah uh just being honest usually uh ends up better than trying to like mince words and put um like hide certain things from certain people you know Uh, rope. That rope shortened for some reason. <laughs> okay. Okay. talk to Maria. There's also the people on line three. Hey, anyone around? I'm still at the ranger station, trying to find anything we can use. Violet? Violet's okay. I got her with me. Stay off the receiver unless okay. it's an emergency. Over and out. Hmm. Violet's Sounds safe. like they're starting to move around. Better uh, keep that in mind. Yeah, okay. Good to know. Yeah. I I'm mostly glad to hear that Violet's safe. That's the big thing I got from that. I keep wanting to press X to jump like I did in Breath of the Wild. You know what? There's a little shed down there. Let's go down to the little shed. That just seems appropriate. What's with the bois here? You, you want to say anything about this? No? Okay, I guess. Anything here? Nope. Okay. I just wasted everyone's time, and I am sorry about that. Um, 
we still need to get the special radio for the top left spot, so we're gonna go over this way. Hopefully, whatever's over this way uh, can provide a solution. Oh, wait. Hang on. Look. Look? It doesn't the... Doesn't the light seem weird? Uh, it, yeah. Oh my goodness, that's right. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Too bright. Ah, too bright. Way too bright. Hey, Olive Branch. Are your shoes tied? They're tied. Tied? It's tied. Hey, it's because I need you to pay attention. Hmm. It's tied. Show me. Hang on, look. See? Okay. Olivia? Olivia? Oh, wait, I... Why do I sound weird? The worst thing you can do to someone is waste their time. And killing someone is basically wasting all their time at once. If it was a spider, I didn't know it was in the drain. And now, that spider that lived in our drain is no longer with us, is it? Animals wax and wane too, you know. Planet Shine isn't just for members of parentage. Who... who are you? So, you can have a sip of coffee later, but not the whole mug like last time. Oh, come on! Well, maybe two sips. <laughs> and do Olivia, you understand hi. why? I think so. I just want her to learn. And she will learn. Now, what do you want to do today? I want to do everything! No! No! Rip? You! How did you get in here? You have no you right at? to be here with them! Who is that? I just... I don't know what's going on. Why I can't keep it together. This is the right night. It has to be. They wouldn't have... Wouldn't have told me if it wasn't. Hmm. I will get to Planet Shine. I will get to Planet Shine. I will. Riley? Get to Planet Riley, Shine. are you okay? Interesting. You kind of zoned out. How are you holding up? I lost you for a second. I saw Olivia with two I saw people. Olivia with two older people. I don't know. I think she was trying to do something in the, uh, the time stream. I am not sure. Trying hmm. to do what? What did you see? Her parents, I think. Another time jump thing? I think she was with her parents, maybe? They were talking about planet shine, that thing she says. I don't know, she seemed sad, desperate a little. Hmm. Come on, we still have two more transmitters to place. Let's figure out where to go next. Yeah, I think we're going this way. But yeah, that that is interesting detail-wise. I think, I think those were her parents, and I think it was that... My memory is so foggy, but I think it was said that her... Oh, was it Olivia? And I, you see, when, when I said Olivia... Uh, when it had the choice of Olivia, Riley, and um, Jacob, I forgot that Olivia was a name already. That's how bad I am with names. Um, even though it's like a pivotal, pivotal character of the story, I just completely forgot so um i wasn't choosing olivia as like mean-spirited thing it was just like oh this is a name that's not one of ours like that's um okay uh so yeah uh yeah i forget where i was going with that but yeah i think it said that olivia's parents were dead and that she lived with her aunt and uncle and so she must be trying to restore her parents or something like that. <laughs> I think that's what's going on. Or that's like Olivia's story here. We'll just take the short path down to the beach and then it's uh, just across the way. Sure. It should be a good lookout for a transmitter location past that. Watch, uh, watch your footing. It gets kind of steep. 
I think we're close to the ranger station too. Okay. Yeah, I uh, got it. Like, so a lot of these that's like, yeah, I got it, and and but then she's like saying it in like a sarcastic tone. Like I don't know, some of the wording isn't coming out how like the text boxes feel in my head, you know. A map. Okay, so we've seen that map before. Uh, I think we need to jump over. You, uh, you're pretty good at this stuff, right? Uh, what? What stuff? Oh, you know, like, general athletics, hiking, basic training stuff. Was this, like, part of what you, uh, what, what you did in the military? I did military this stuff? This sort of thing? Uh, Was this, like, part of your training? My dad uh, and I. No, did. my dad and I just went hiking a lot, so I know some of these trails. He teach me basic survival tricks, how to make fire from ice, crap like that. He was fire just kind of ice. one of those guys. That's cool. Yeah, my dad was more of a, if you want to learn how to shave so badly, ask your mother sort of person. Which, you know, at the time I didn't really mind. I guess I still don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Of, of course, I'm making it sound like I was forced into bonding with my father. Well, you're... No, 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 you're fine. You didn't make it sound like anything. My dad was great. He was fine. We were fine. We just didn't do stuff like hike much. That's all. Interesting. Okay. I wanted to drop that rope just in case, but also we go the other way, the way that's not so obvious. Because I was hoping that something would be over here. Maybe that was just show supposed to be to show, hey, you can drop the rope over there. I don't know. A little bit weird. That spot, anyways. More more natural, more realistic, but also gameplay-wise, a little bit weird. <clears throat> doing okay? Hey, you doing okay? Are you kidding? This is my... Uh, happy place. Happy place. <laughs> okay, let's do another climbing anchor thing. Seriously, the, the, the rope burn on this uh, would suck. Yeah, just sliding down with your, like, two hands there, like, that, that would suck. Like, if you're belaying, then sure, like, that would be fine. But also, they're not using, like, climbing, uh, hello there, on the right. <laughs> um, but they're not using, like, climbing carabiners and stuff to... Shift the rope. Hey, that's Olivia's friend. Charlie. Hey, buddy. Wait up. Jacob, quick, go get him. Go get him? But the, I'm trying. He has something. Yeah, we're going for him. Okay, that's gonna close, almost certainly. They're gonna close that. Are you serious? Wait! Ugh. Open the gate. Hey, you, lady. You and uh, Gingerbread here better quit following us, Ugh, or bad me? things are gonna happen. Seriously, oh, you just shut we up, Violet. Hey, wait, come on. We helped out your buddy Violet, okay? She was in trouble, and now she's not because of us. And now we need you to open the gate. Maybe we get you out of trouble too. Sound fair? Violet didn't need you, and neither do I. None of us need you. Hmm. This is stupid. Look, whatever you and your little friends are don't doing. Don't follow me. Don't follow us. Stop what you're doing. Last warning. Wait! And gingerbread, come on. Are these your work hours or something? You look exhausted. And I mean that in a bad way. Oh, yeah? Oh, why don't you eat something? And go to hell also. God, you and your entire freak show crew. We'll get don't him think time. we don't know you're up to something. It's okay. We'll get him next time. There has to be another way. Yeah. Oh, it's just mm, so annoying. Could have we gotten here just two minutes earlier? Uh, you want to come this way? <sighs> okay. Okay, it's I'm fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. There's probably a key for the lock at the ranger station. It's just up here. Ugh. It's gingerbread. So, uh, gingerbread. What's? Oh yeah, uh, that. It's um. This is incredibly dumb, but two summers ago, I was at the beach and I went to go to the bathroom in a you know 
one of the latrines they have there. And as a prank, some high schoolers pushed it over. And I fell out practically naked, and they call me gingerbread now as a goof. That's really... And that's it. Not a whole lot to explain. But why okay, gingerbread? But why gingerbread? Because my hair down there is pretty light, and in the sun it looked red, and so that's... That's it. It's just something uh, some of them thought they saw. Oh, oh, sorry. That's not too nice. Now nah, who cares? Yeah, they can laugh all they want. I don't have homework. T true, true. Homework sucks. <laughs> homework sucks. Um, there's this building up here. Ooh, ooh, I see a little journal down there. A little hidden note. Nope. Yep, hello? hello. I'm here. Over. Hi. Hiya. Thanks for picking up. Remember when I said if you run into three teenagers, call them assholes? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Over. Well, have you run into three teenagers? Um. Uh, oh, cult uh, members, yeah. over. Oh, I think you mean cult members. Those freaks in masks. That's who you're talking about, right? Over. Only one of them is a freak. That's Olivia. Violet and Charlie are fine friends and they just they just told me they were going out to edwards island and they mm. kind of gave me this look like this was the last time and i don't really know what i did to piss them off so I'm like what are they doing uh are they at brad's house tell me you know about brad nelkin you wouldn't know brad nelkin hey maria who are they really tell me about them okay over oh i mean i could go back to third grade but look I used to be really good friends with Violet, and Charlie used to do the radio station thing. But ever since Olivia started hanging out with them, it's like everything. Ah, oh, God, I gotta go. Sorry, we'll talk more later. Bye. Call I'm really me. interested in that, yeah. So the friends that are disconnected now. You wanna sit here for a bit? No? Okay. <laughs> but yeah it kind of sucks like just as you grow up sometimes you lose connections to the friends and it's not even like oh like there's something bad that happened it's just like you lose like like I had a bunch of friends uh in primary school and like there wasn't anything that ever caused us to like stop hanging out other than we moved away to different colleges and stuff and that kind of sucks you know but like so much changes and and then like you're not really in touch it, it yeah sorry a little, little bit sappy sentimental there Did they hmm. jay i saw the green flash again this time at sunset it wasn't as bright uh, I would apologize, but you told me not to. So instead, I will try, try to show gratitude. Thank you for not hating me. Thank you for having the courage to point out what was clearly right in front of me. Thank you for tolerating the absolutely dreadful coffee I make every morning. Anna would want me to let go. Anna would be furious at me for this pitiful little cage I've built for myself. I can see her now, flustered and cursing and... Uh, thrusting me into your arms. Best of luck with your life and your heart. Uh, though you, though you'd insisted it's not needed, I hope someday you can forgive mine. M. Uh, P.S. I'll keep an eye out for the piece you created for me and Anna. Uh, I can't say I'm much of an art critic, but I know that I am great. Uh, but know that I am grateful for that and so much more. Yeah, Jacob, just just hang out on the rack there. It's fine. Hop on down. I said hop on down. Do, 
Here, just want to take a look. <laughs> Charlie equals Dick. Check Ranger Station for key to gate. Okay. Um. And we need to get that key in order to head up to the falls. Okay. Hey, DJ person. Hey, uh, DJ person. Are you around over? Hey, how's it going? Need some more advice? I got boatloads. No one ever seems to want it, though. Over. Uh, no, you so, about Charlie. Uh, you mentioned, you know, a kid named, uh, Charlie? Just, what can you tell me about him that I might, uh, want to know if I needed to know anything? Over. Charlie? Mm. Cool. He is. He's, he's cool. Uh, he's into interior design. He's junior ice hockey. His sister is 13 years older than him. So he's kind of like an only kid. One of those delightful accidents. I think his parents only wanted one. And I think he kind of feels that. I don't know. I don't want to air his dirty laundry, you know? People stink should stay with them. Over. Well, okay, but just to let you know, your friend Charlie burglarized the ranger station tonight. And I don't mean dumpster diving. I mean he broke in through the window and stole radio equipment. Wow. That sounds like, um, maybe $75 worth of damage there. My ex-boyfriend beat up a cop three months ago. It's the weekend. Charlie's fine. Oh, I think I gotta go. Mr. Thatcher, good to see you. Yeah, I still don't know who spray-painted nipples on the statue in the library. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> but, uh... Jesus, what happened here? Looks Whoa. like... Parentage ransacked the place or ha had a seance god i have no idea it's kind of unsettling seeing the little ceremonies of people devoted to things inscrutable yeah. ranger are you uh in the bathroom no crap oh, maybe if we'd come here instead of charity point you know maybe we don't know no we don't know when they left this you know, we could have been too late no matter what there's broken glass over here that guy, God, he totally wrecked the place looking for comm equipment. Little thief must have taken the ranger's walkie. Uh, Spectacular. He, oh, God, why do you trash everything else? Is there a phone? There has to be. We might be able to call out. Oh, yeah, there should be one under something. something. Maps with a bunch of districts listed. I guess to delineate which ranger takes which patch of forest in case of anything. I don't know if we'll find the park ranger geographical coding system particularly helpful at this point. <laughs> particularly helpful at this point. Uh, squirrel. What is this? Oh, did they stuff a squirrel? A little fox says, Nutty the squirrel. Nutty the squirrel. Sure there's a, a story there. I, I'm, I'm sure of it. There has to be. I'll uh, just redial the last number. Okay. This is Shelly, Park Ranger at Oberon Station. Anyone um, there? We're not set up for assisted speech. If you were. Hi. Um, I I think you called here, maybe. Oh, hey. Uh, hi. Yeah, I called earlier. This is the Turnstone Forest Station. I'm getting a few scattered reports of an electrical storm in your Ooh, area. Yeah. Tell to her what's going on. Fires to start. Have you seen anything? Uh, and is Local 43 on standby? No fires. Uh, no. No fires, no. Not that I've seen, anyway. Okay, good. There's also... How do I put this? There's been other notices of strange phenomena. Other... Uh, activity. Yep. But, uh, first, can I ask who I'm speaking with? Uh, Riley Hello? and Jacob. Uh, Riley and Jacob were both... Or were both residents. Jacob still is. Mm -hmm. What's not so good is that I've been getting a lot of other off-color calls tonight. Yeah. And I've been hearing other things on my patrols. Stuff I would normally chalk up to coffee-induced auditory hallucinations. But you couple these with the phone calls. It's been an interesting night, to say the least. Fair Real yeah. interesting. Times two. So you'll help us out? I'll do what I can, but not like park rangers are exactly outfitted for trouble gear-wise. Fair. 
We have to provide our own pen. Oh, that's... I have to go check something out, but if you have a walkie, I'm on one. Sounds good. Talk to you in a second. Did we get the name? Hey, Riley, you there? Over. Hey, found a key. There's no markings, but a pink sticker. Riley? Oh, awesome. That has to be oh, over. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah, it Charlie, have to be, I'm, I'm here. You know, Perfect, you sound hopefully. clear. All right, is there anything else I can help you with? Over. Um, where are you? Um, just out of curiosity, where are you right now? Over. I'm at the Oberon outpost, 15 and three quarter miles from you. Mm. All right, I have to leave, but I'll be in touch. You do the same. Over and out. Okay, there were sort of two conversations that there, she but... seems nice. Uh, she... Ranger Shelly actually helps us? Sure, very nice. Riley seems... Interesting. Like, she seems upset about stuff, and, like, very... I, I can see, like, the, the mad vibes that um, her dad was talking about. Like, I, I I go and choose a statement that I think is pretty innocuous, and then, like, it's really angry and emotionally charged. And I don't think Jacob deserves that, you know? Hey, when you said your dad took you hiking... Sorry, it just reminded me. How's uh, your dad doing? The last time I saw him was back in high school. Yeah, but we were... Uh, uh, I was at the grocer, and he was before me in line. And the clerk asked about you or something, and... uh. Your dad mentioned how Riley is a name after something. Interesting. Is there a story there? Or... Um... No? It's a dead soldier. It's just some dead soldier that died in some town in Dublin. Not much of a story. But no, that's... that's cool. He also... your dad mentioned how proud he was that you... I guess you just enlisted and he was proud of you following in his footsteps. Mm. I don't think it was bullcrap, for what it's worth. Uh... I disappointed him eventually. I'm sure he was proud. I'm sure he was telling every mechanic and bag boy that his little girl was going to be raining napalm on bad guys any day now. I disappointed him, eventually, but at least he got that morning, right? I'm sure he's... yeah. When that thought bubble comes up, is it, like, always positive, or is it, like, just the opinion has changed or something like that? Um, I'm gonna walk over this way. In case there's like a letter. Or oh, yep, there's, there's a letter. I think that's a frog, right? Sorry. I don't know why I got so excited. Frogs can be exciting. Hey, frogs can be exciting, dude. They're frogs. They're freaking cool. Yeah. Where was it? I actually think it was just a rock. Rip. <laughs> oh, Olivia wasn't planned for. I wonder if she knows that. Uh, Ingrid, I've never been, nor... Will I ever be pregnant? So I can't say I understand Marigold's struggle, but I do sympathize. We plan our lives and then things happen. You say parentage helped her and her husband accept the birth of Olivia, that they provided a structure for the chaos of early parenthood. But Olivia is a person, not a problem to be solved. How will this structure affect her own life? I enjoy our talks and I think we should not discuss parentage anymore. Uh, I admittedly struggle with the topic when the topic is broached, uh, as I don't wish to offend, but I find no uh, no sense or harmony in the stars. They are celestial giants, uh, beyond my understanding, who do not know or care that I am here. Uh, it only saddens me how you see them, Ingrid. It saddens me to think how Olivia will see them, uh, not as they are, but as reflections of herself. M. Interesting. Yeah. It's interesting that some of the letters have multiple achievements, like it's related to multiple different things, basically. Whee! Drop down. How did Charlie get up there, though? You know about parentage. Shelly, you ever heard of parentage? Oh, oh, Lord. God, yes. I have heard of the effing p 
heritage. Sorry, on duty. Try to monitor the language. The number of times I've had to deal with their naked forest dancing ceremonies. <laughs> it's like, okay, wanna dance naked? Cool. That's why God invented backyards. <laughs> Over. Okay, gross. Right? I can't stand getting dirt under my fingernails, let alone... On duty, Shell. Come on. Uh, anyway, there was this one member, though. She died a few years back. Uh, don't know. Wasn't so hippy dippy. More of scary Harry. Scary Harry. More scary than. How so? She hated parentage more than me, but she was still a member. Just some bog standard old lady complaining about how the old ways were dying out. Kids these days, the usual tap dance. Hmm. I had to drive her back home once after she twisted her ankle during one of their naked dance-offs. The story she told. That's when it started to get scary. Horse Super horse? horrific? I'm talking the gritty reboot of the Inquisition. Mm. Apparently its founders were a lot less into naked dancing. And a lot more into fire. And bodies. Great. But, pin in that, I gotta do a quick walk around. There are sleeping skunks in this area. And they're not fond of talking alarm clocks. Check back later. Talk, talking alarm clock? What? Okay. Um. Nick. Uh, yeah. Experience any time. Hey, uh, Evelyn, have you been experiencing something like... It's like I'm redoing the previous couple of minutes a few times. Like, deja vu, but worse. Over. Yeah. Over. Yeah, sometimes. But if you don't have any other information or anything, it's, uh, you know, I'll just deal with it. Over. Okay, Riley. Ring me if you need anything. Sorry I couldn't help you with this. It's fine. Over and out. Just was curious if it was further. Uh, let's ask more about parentage. Hey, Shelly, I want to know more about parentage. Oh, hey, Riley. I, I just finished the skunk spill. Okay, so parentage. Someone who smelled like they were carved from gin, but still. So I guess parentage goes carved back like centuries. And a good few of them. There was this freak lightning storm once over Edwards Island, just out of nowhere. Okay. This was right in the middle of a wicked drought, so as soon as lightning touched ground, everything caught on fire. And every one. Hundreds of skeletons. Ah. At least that they were able to count. Hard to get a proper number out of ash. Over. I need this religion. Uh, so someone decided to make a religion out of this? Well, this is where it goes from bananas to nuts, depending on your definitions. Apparently, during that fire, this, like, thing showed thing. up in the sky. Okay. Like this, I don't know, shape. A woman was mighty slurry the triangle. at this point. Something opened in the sky and showed paradise on the other side, while the earth below it was an actual burning hell. A triangle. I don't know. She was just shy of intelligible. Over. Heck of a tall tale. I was captivated. I mean, once I got past the belching every other <laughs> sentence. A vision of paradise. But just that. There and gone. An open and shut door. Those who survived called that vision Planet Shine. Planet Shine, okay. Decided to form a group to recreate it. And thus, parentage was born. With ash on their tongues. Over. Why How'd the they name? get that name? Search me on that one. My mom is, like, weirdly obsessed with Frankenstein, so people are freaks, you know? The old lady told me that for, like, years and years after, they tried to recreate that night. As best they could. So, no lightning, but plenty of fire. Hmm. And plenty of bodies. Ah. For years. You never got oh. caught? Some people didn't, you know, catch them in the act or something? I'm sure they did, and I'm sure they were set on fire. The long and uh, short okay. Yep. Yep. It never happened again. The shape in the sky. I mean, surprise, surprise. Well, people dropped out. Membership went. You look but up. The thing uh, ran its course. A couple of diehards, but no more, you know, bodies. No more sacrifices. No more ash. Over. Well, oh, I, I mean, you say that, but what about the old lady? Clearly, not everyone changed their minds. Uh, yeah, you're not 
wrong. I don't know. There are people who think indoor plumbing is a mortal sin, so uh, you're always gonna find one hanger on, I guess. I guess. Um, their history. But their history. The you know the corpses. Lost to the ages. Hmm. Well, except for one slurring grandmother in a back seat. Anyway, don't believe everything you read. I'm getting a call, so see you when I hear you. Over and out. Sure thing. That's really interesting, though. Um, and if we look at... Maria's friends are on Edwards. Yeah, we saw that. Ooh. There's a little guy standing there. <laughs> um... Okay. Uh, nothing else, right? Nothing from Nick. Okay. I hope I didn't lose out on being able to talk with Nick because I didn't call him right away. I want, I want to talk with Nick. But if I just lost out because I didn't call him... That sucks. Keep thinking about what they could be doing. What they could be trying to do. Parentage, the cult, just with all this. You gotta figure, or at least I'm figuring, there's two possibilities. Either they're a bunch of underbaked human beings making underbaked life choices, mm -hmm. just thinking this whole thing's a lark, without really measuring the consequences. You know? I feel like there's going to be an or coming. Or? What if they're right? What if whatever they're trying to do is the right thing to do? I uh, mm. hate to be getting in the way of our one true opportunity at eternal salvation. You think so? Uh, really? You think so? I mean, I don't know, of course, but, you know, they believe in astrology, soul, warping, crap like that. Broken clock twice a day sort of thing. I don't know, though. Just... Interesting. I'm also just trying to remind myself that I too was once a dumb asshole teenager who did dumb asshole teenager things. I'm trying to. Yeah. Maybe not succeeding, but um, trying. Uh, these kids are I mean, worse. Sure, we all smoked each other out in our grandparents' bathroom, but like these kids are way worse. I wonder if your folks would say the same. <laughs> when you talk to your dad about old times, what does he say? Because something tells me He would agree implicitly Oh, he would, he'd agree implicitly <laughs> Interesting well, My clueless parents would attest to my being a very good kid options. in high school They would, but even I have to admit that If someone had told me I could open a portal in the sky And make things better for myself I'd have fallen for it That makes Probably. sense Especially in this town well, sure, Jacob. I mean, what kid doesn't want to reach out and touch the void a little? The See void. See if it touches back, you know? Yeah, it's understandable. This is a cool scene. I like this. Um. Ah, <sighs> that, like... I'm kicking myself. Like, I, I didn't get to... I messed up not being able to talk to Nick. Hey, wait. There he is. Hey! Ah, damn it! Stop! Crap, let's get that asshole! Uh oh. Oh, jeez. Will you come here? Don't wait for don't, me. Don't don't wait for me. Just go. Hey, Jacob. You there, buddy? I'll take that as a no. I'll take that as a no. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? Let's 
rock looks a little bit interesting. I'm gonna see if I can tune in. Red Rover, Red Rover. Who wants to come over? Uh, who is this? Uh, who, uh, who is speaking? Who, who? Are you an owl? Tag, tig, tiggy, tips. Touch and go and then you're it. If to play, just say okay. Uh, play what? Play what? What what am I supposed to do? Just follow along. Sticks and stones can break my bones. And so can rocks and so can blocks. Bloody and red, they'll kill me dead. Oh, oh okay. No more night, no more light. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Cold. Seventeen. Warm. Sixteen. Heating up. Fifteen. Warmer. Fourteen. Even warmer. Okay, going the right way. Ooh, hot. Thirteen. Fire. Burning. It's the... it's the light. The light, right? Correct! Hmm. Deeper weeper, chimney sweeper. Had a wife but couldn't keep her. Had another, didn't love her. But the chimney he did shove her. Uh, okay. Body of the woman was found after neighbors complained about a strange smell emanating from the house every time before. It smells good. Ugh. Fifteen. Please be up here. Eleven. Uh. Oh, okay. Warm, warm, warm. Ten. Warmer. Oh, Heat I up. see it. Nine. Warmer still. Even warmer. Eight. Hot. Please, please, please let me get there. Chimney. chimney. It's a chimney. It has to be. Correct! Here comes an old soldier from Botany Bay. What have you got to give him today? I'll give him a block. I'll give him a rock. I'll give him a grave. I'll give him a cave. If you have any information regarding the disappearance of little... Ugh. So we're looking for the cave now. Even warmer. Hot. Eight. Ooh, hot. I mean, this is the cave here, right? Fire. Seven. Is there an opening here? The footprints almost look like they go into the wall. Winner! Winner! Hickory dickory dock. Who is that hiding behind the rock? Um... Caves. Okay. Ladybird, Ladybird, fly away home. Your children are under the Grindle Stone. Come find me. Okay, can I go down? Thank you. Come find me. Am I not gonna turn on my light? Apparently not. Like that. Shoe. A shoe. What? What is left? DC. Uh. Hi, Riley. This is a sight for sure. Uh, I'll miss feeding you. I'll miss when you sat on my lap. Uh, huh? And most.
most of all, I'll just miss you being around. Goodbye, sure. Lewis. You'll always be my favorite gecko in the world. Yeah. I... I, uh... I don't know what to do next. That's fine. It's hard. Sure memory of Lewis. What happens next at a funeral? Well, everybody's different, but usually you say some nice words. Funny stories, favorite memories... Any of you want to tell Lewis? Well, I think my favorite memory is when we threw up on Mom's sandals. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, I'd actually forgotten about that. Blissfully forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't. I had. Oh, that's sad. I'm going to miss him so much. Yeah. I'm really going to miss him. Oh. You don't need to hug me. Uh. It's fine. I'm fine. Hey, I'm just trying to be here for you. You know? Comfort you. Well, don't. Sorry okay? About that. Don't. I, I didn't know. Ugh, he's moving so slowly. I'm sorry I'm getting mad. I'm... Yeah, I'm sorry. I hope I die before you do. I don't want to see you like that. Uh -huh. Please don't die before I do. Be strong, be realistic, be here. Get out of tomorrow. Just be here, kiddo. Just be here. Yeah. Be here for the moment. I... I don't like seeing him alone. I... Can't we... Isn't there a way to get him back? Um, I don't like seeing him out there. I know it's hard now. Maybe we... Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Sweetheart, I know it's hard right now, but... No, I want to be with him. Uh, I don't want him to be alone. I'm sorry, but... Kiddo, come on. You can't be with him. And that's all right. Yeah. Rex? Rex? You good? Miss my pets from when I was a kid. Damn it! Ugh! Damn it! What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? I don't want to see him. I don't want to. Oh. Mom? Riley? Riley? Hey. Uh, I saw I kid. was put in another time, I think. In the future, there was a kid there. He kept calling me. His mom. His name's Rex. Oh, wow. Uh, what was he like? Is that my character's future? We were burying his pet. We were having a little funeral by the sea for his pet lizard or something. Gecko. He seemed distraught. I, I couldn't help him. It's hard to explain. Never mind, honestly. Let's just... Yeah, never mind. Okay. Jeez. Well, Charlie got away, sorry to say. He took off That's over fine. the hill, and I thought I was already getting too ahead of myself. Uh, thanks so for trying. Came back. Oh, thanks for trying, anyway. I appreciate the effort. Trust me, my lungs do not. <laughs> Kathy was on funnels back to Fatiga Falls. Fatiga Falls. So, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll still be there. Come on, let's hit the road. Yeah, let's go. Did he drop a rope for us? Uh, you know what? I want to take a quick look at something actually down here. I know this isn't where the camera was going. It was supposed to be really cinematic or whatever, but there's this sandbar over here. Just want to take a quick look, you know? Nope, I was not supposed to go there. Also, the chimney's gone. I wonder if there is, like, a specific set of statements that could calm Rex, or if it's just going to consistently that he's upset. <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot to kick the rope down earlier. I was, let's call it focused. Yeah, that's diplomatic enough. That's fine. <laughs> he's climbing and then sliding back down. Jacob, you're doing great. 
Yeah, nothing there. <laughs> the game's like, hey, you, you should really be going up that way. Um... I'll go this way. We kind of need to go back into that cave, though. I think. I think there's more in that cave. I think we set up this next transmitter, and then we call the stream for tonight. I don't know how long that's going to be, but I think that will probably be, like, a good wrapping up point, basically. Now, I'll probably call Evelyn as well. Hey, Shelly, we're at Tatiga Falls. How do we get back to, you know, humanity? Oh, man. Why would you want to? <laughs> I love that place. Uh, it's pretty. Ooh, really pretty. I'd make a screensaver out of it. Are those still a thing? Unless you got gills, just, you know, move away from the water. Nothing Fair. past the waterfall except mud and beehives. Nothing civilized. Get back on the path and you'll be back among your fellow man in no time. Okay. But Take a second, enjoy the view. Be, you know, natural. natural. Someday that waterfall will be a gas station. Taste the mist while you can. Over and out. Okay. Nick? Please let me call you, Nick. Hey, uh, Evelyn. Time is kind of, like, jumping around a lot, right? I'm sorry, I just feel like I should be double-checking. We're not the only ones experiencing this. I hope you're there. Over. Hey, I'm here. Hello. Sorry, you're asking about time jumps? Okay, is that is that what's been happening? We yes. can't really tell. We haven't felt anything like that, really. No. We're just collecting data. And the uh, information being collected by the transmitter isn't being understood by our computers currently. That's Maybe sometime good. in the future, we can actually start to decipher it. But, uh, what happens when it happens? When time uh, skips? Over. It's like a it's dream. like a dream, Evelyn, honestly. It's like dreaming you're someplace else. And when it's over, it's the same thing. You feel like you've woken up. And you can barely remember what happened. Uh, over. You know, I'm glad I'm not out there, but <laughs> I'm a little envious. You know, just a little. Anyways, stay safe. I'll speak to you soon. Over and out. It is very interesting, yeah. Maria, are you there? I want to talk with all the people. Come in, over. ID dash one Ugh. step. I think something with the subtitles. There he is! Son of a. God, these assholes! Hey, get back here! Hey! Uh. Hey! Kid! We need to talk to you, okay? Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, take a little tumble there, pal. Get up. Okay. Yeah, okay, asshole. You got me. What the hell do you think's gonna happen now, huh? You have no idea what you're messing with. The powers that they've given us? What? That they've given you us. You wanna take a swing at me? Take a free shot, gingerbread. I got all night. I won't even move. Land a solid one, right there. Oh, shut up, uh, Will you just shut up already? Let me tell you, you're not helping the situation. Oh, what the hell do you know about it? You're as old as you are stupid. Stop yapping. A final warning. Ooh. We're just don't lucky you, I... Don't you understand that whatever you're messing with, it's destroying everything. Reality. It's it's wrecking reality, literally. Yeah. Maybe reality deserves to be wrecked. What we're doing tonight, it's going to change our lives. Change everything. Hand over the stuff you stole from the ranger station. Oh, this stuff? Rip. Oh God, you are an asshole. Takes one to know one. That's it. I've had nah. enough of this. This whatever this is. I swear to God, if you don't start talking some sense right now, you're gonna get your mouth smacked off your goddamn face. Hey, whoa. You understand? Um, I don't speak, Dick. Hey. Hey, you better talk to us, kid. What's going on? What's parents? Yeah, this doing? is pretty important. I don't important. have to say anything. Besides, this asshole wouldn't understand me anyway. 
Ow! Uh, hey, back, back off! Do you think if I punt you over the gorge here, would anyone miss the snappy punk idiot from apartment 3B? Would your mother? Everyone in this town knows you're a goddamn mistake. Okay, this is a bit too far. Hey, that's shut uh, up. Jacob, that's way over the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's over the line. Now. No, Riley. You don't know how much him and his little twerp patrol have screwed with me over the years. Oh, what? Friggin' pranks? They're not pranks to me. God, I'm sorry. You're acting like a total psycho right now. Me? You joined up with the crazy cold starting a cosmic fire you can't put out. Now ring your useless friends and call it all off or the police will find your body no. in Jacob, the... Stop. Just stop, seriously. We're getting... This is getting bad. Yeah, getting that, bad. That, that's This night is literally falling apart and it's this prick's fault. Him and his whole crew. They think they can mess with me and my, my stuff. And now tonight. Let me talk just, to him. Just let me talk to him, okay? We don't need all this. Yeah. Jacob, please. Fine. Whatever. Do it your own way. Okay. So, what? Are you, like, a cop? No. No, I'm not a cop. I'm just trying to fix things. Yes. Fix the things that you and your friends broke. Now, tell me why you're breaking things at all, okay? Two sentences. Go. Two sentences. You We're got making it. things right, and tonight's the only night we can do it. You want more? Uh, well, that's about involved. as simple as I can make it. Don't worry about us. Explain tonight. Who else is involved, and what are they doing while I'm stuck here with you? I'm not a rat, lady. And what's happening tonight is too important. I can't let her down. I just can't, okay? And besides, I need them to help me too. And I'm not about to start messing with them. Not for you. No you way. need whose help? You need whose help? What, what's going on here? No. I, wait, who's? Uh, oh. uh, your eyes. Kid, uh, your eyes? Uh, he's, it's like he's sleepwalking. I don't know. This is nuts. Nope. Oh. Okay. It's time to save the kid. Nah, he's on the bridge. Hmm. What should we do? We can't just leave him, right? I, I know I'm hearing a radio. Jesus! Are we sure about this? Hold on, kid. I'm, this might help. Get another triangle. Uh oh. Shit. <laughs> God. Oh. It's you. Uh, who are you? Are you? The father was a military man, and he met the mother when they were both cadets, stationed. But she left. The mother left, never to be seen again. Please back home. Never. What do you want? With me? With with anything? What? Yeah. Wants? We will take whatever we need for to work. Your future is now. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. My future? What, what does that mean? Oh, shit. This has been a test of the emergency broadcast system. Stay tuned for further instructions. Is he? Oh, man. Uh, oh, okay. The stars are still there. Is that supposed to be there? Nothing's like shattered. I think he's asleep. I'm not like unconscious, but like sleeping. I mean, that's good, right? Hey, yeah, he's okay, great, but we need to plant the transmitter now. Uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. I feel like the starfield's not supposed to be there like that. God, our future is its future? What the hell does that even mean? 
I mean, it doesn't sound like a fair trade, to be frank. Yeah, I don't even know lives. what my future is. They want our lives, I think? I don't, I don't know. And what does parentage have to do with any of this? What could they be trying to accomplish here? And was it telling the truth? I think it was telling the truth. Your mom met your dad while they both served? Yes. Was it right? Or just lying? Uh, yeah, or at least my dad says. It's really... I'm sad Maggie's not here to see this. I can't help but thinking about her. Yeah. She was right. She was right. She was... She was right. But, uh... But, uh... uh you said you think they want to steal our lives? I mean, should we be doing, like, anything about that? Uh... They won't. Don't worry, Jacob. They won't win. These kids won't win, whatever they're trying to do. Parentage won't win. And those things won't either. Okay? Yeah. Roger. Yikes. Sorry, Charlie. That looked rough. Both the falling and everything before it. Okay. I, I, okay, transmitter. Let's find a place for it. I feel like the the triangle's not supposed to be there still. Uh, hey, I, I, I just want to say sorry about getting too hot with your kid. Uh, I could have used you. Really could have used you there and not pouting in a corner. I know, I know. I just, I don't know. It just really got under my skin. I'll be better. Don't worry. Okay, that's good. But, yeah, like, there, there's a little bit of, like, putting pressure on him, and then there's going too far. A flash of green. What did Maggie say? I saw it. You doubted me, but I saw it. A flash of green right at sunrise. Blink and you'd miss it. Well, I didn't blink. Next time I'm waking you up to watch it with me. You've been warned. Don't worry, I'll have coffee made. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, I want to take a quick look over here. Just because I'm thinking about it right now. The fact that I didn't explore all this. here and then are these rocks jumpable like we need to go wrong along these rocks nope okay never mind then I think we're good to go uh, game there we go just a little hop animation it's a bit weird okay Let's head up and place this transmitter. Yeah, I think this is a graphical glitch. But, like, the fact that it's still there when I'm off screen, like, did it just literally cut through the fabric of reality and it's still there or something? I don't know. I, I place that transmitter here. I think it's our best bet. It's the highest point in the area. Well, that we can get to at least. Oh, good. okay. Sounds good. Please? There we go. And place. Almost found it right away. Here we there go. we go. Almost got it right away. Oh. <gasps> You're never gonna believe this. I just got a vision from the future. Did you ask? We catch nothing? and get takeout for dinner. <laughs> I guess we gotta go home. Don't wanna piss off the, uh, right. yeah, uh, I can, uh, relate. Are you 
usually vary. The ends don't justify the means, so I'm surprised we're fishing at all. We're not catching anything anyway. Not if we don't use live bait. The guy at the store said so. Remember? Oh, um, what, what are we using? What's the difference? The difference between what we're using and live bait is that our bait is dead. Gotcha. Taking so long. Rex is Let's very just go angry. to seafood sales. Please? I'm trying to be here. Come on. Patience. I should have just kept that stupid penny. Can we leave? Please? I'll share my hush puppies. Waiting I'll makes share it worse. a hush puppy. You are young and life is long, and there is time to kill today. And then one day, you find ten years have got behind you. Get out. This waiting, this is what it's all about. Waiting yeah. is what makes this, makes everything worthwhile. Well, it can also still suck. That it does. Which it I does. agree with that. Oh, you owe me so much pizza after this. Hey, check it out. Yeah. I, I think I got one. Almost got him. Yeah. You did it. Oh, can we fry him? Is that a thing? Yeah. I want to eat him tonight. Sure, if it's big enough. Um, it's dead. Oh, that's weird. Mom? Uh, Mom? Uh, Mom? Uh, I can't react fast enough. Okay. Ugh. Jacob. Interesting. Okay, down we go. I just want to get a hold of Evelyn, and then I think we're going to wrap up for tonight. Just because it's like a good breaking point, in my opinion. Um, Charlie's not over there. Charlie down here, Charlie and um, Jacob. Uh, just a quick look. Uh, you're there. Okay, I should go. Over here. Riley, oh my god. You okay, Jacob? Were you were you buried alive too? Oh no. Like not in dirt, but in bugs. Hey, it's okay, man. Take a second. I okay. I'm trying to take it. Hmm. I would take all the seconds, but I just want to get out of here. That's fair. Charlie must have left, or I, I don't know what. I don't care. Sounds let's just good. let's just go. Yep, co-signed. We found the transmitter. We're done here. We're leaving here. Yeah. We're done. Oh. We're leaving. Oh man. I keep seeing this kid. I keep seeing this, like, this kid. And he knows me, and... Yeah. You're not getting that? I mean, no. I, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm apologizing, but I'm apologizing. Sorry. Um, why did that? Huh. I can interact over here, and I couldn't before. Where did Charlie go? Actually, uh, sorry, kid, but you are not priority right now. That's fair. Um, hope you're hope okay. you're safe, though. Like, I don't have ill will towards him. I just, like, the stuff they're doing, really, they shouldn't. Hey, Evelyn. The second transmitter's planted. Any news? Riley? Hey, sorry. I'm the last one here. The rest decided to hike back to the hotel. One too many calls from weird voices, I think. Finally pushed Jim out the door. All right, you know. let me look at these readings. of travel and yes. airwaves oscillate in the same direction these frequencies are moving in every direction that's Interest. not normal or possible over uh so what does that mean over it means things aren't right 
Fair. At the rate of decay on these, it's this is unbelievable. Oh, crap! My mom is calling me. Crap! I haven't heard from my sister yet, and she she's gonna ask if I talk to her. I'm getting really worried, but my mom's gonna flip. Mm. Uh, crap! I don't know what to do. Uh, the truth is worth it, Evelyn. Yeah. If only because if something did happen, it's a lot better to have been upfront about it from the beginning. Yeah. Over. I agree yeah. on that. Right. God, okay. This call is going to suck. Sorry, Riley. I have to it's take this. Suck. I'm still here for you whenever you need to chat. Over and out. Sure thing, Evelyn. Nick, my man, can I talk with you? No. Apparently not. Okay. Let's talk about this graffiti and then say. Sheesh, people really love tagging everything up here. Oh, that. Yeah. That's been here a while, though. Yeah, like when my dad was a kid, he had his photo taken and this was in the picture. Something about it being old just makes it more uh, acceptable for some reason. Apparently. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna wrap up here. But uh, yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, how does here? I'll unsave progress here. Let's go until it shows the save symbol, which I think is when we move to the next area. Oh look. It says that a, a house, a cabin, was here in the 30s, but a passing transient accidentally burned it down when failing to extinguish his cigarette. Mm. Yikes. Only you can prevent forest fires, kids. Yeah. Oh, it's interesting. Didn't know that. Okay. I think it's when we go through... Is this a path up here? No. Okay. I think when we go to the next area, it will save. That's a save. How do I how do I know when it last saved? I am curious about achievements. Oh, uh, well, that just opened Steam. So that's cool. Uh, <laughs> that's not what I thought it was going to do. Uh, find it. Oh, wait. Okay. Huh, okay. So I've missed several notes, so I will need to go back through and look for these. Yeah. Um... Anyways, I'm going to risk that saved, uh, and I'm going to say thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, if you did and you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so. Uh, I stream uh, four times a week, and I upload at least two videos a week. And yeah, uh, I hope you all have a fantastic evening. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Uh, I'm really enjoying Oxen Free 2. I know there's a little bit less talking from me, but uh, I'm trying to like put in some of my thoughts uh, when I have the moments for it. Um, yeah, I've 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 been looking forward to this game basically since I played Oxen Free One, and like they they had the announcement right around the same time that I played Oxen Free One. So yeah, been very excited for this game. Anyways, sorry I'm rambling. Um, take care, everyone, and I will see you all uh, tomorrow for. It's either going to be Luigi's Mansion 3 or um, the Breath of the Wild DLC. And that's based upon a poll uh, on my channel right now. So go ahead and vote in that for what you would like to see. So yeah. Okay. Bye-bye.